Um, this party, most of them at least now, have arrived in Barovia, most of them as if waking from a dream. Uh, each dream featured uh, similar elements, such as an entrancing fire, a misty landscape surrounding them. This landscape, as they discovered, mirrors the dark, dreary land of Barovia, where they now reside. The party is, has learned that Barovia is ruled by an ancient vampire named Strahd von Sarovich. They also had a fortune telling, which revealed the location of three powerful artifacts, which would help them. The party has discovered two of these, the holy symbol of Ravenkind and the Tome of Strahd. The fortune telling also told them of an ally who would aid in the fight against Strahd. They have found this ally in Esmeralda d'Avenir, protege of the famous monster hunter, Rudolf van Richten. They have yet to find the third artifact, though they are close, so they think. Sealed beyond amber doors is the clue, and they are in a location called the Amber Temple seems promising the party is again as i said in this place called the amber temple they survived a couple difficult fights one with a group of berserkers barbarians clawed or clad in furs wielding great weapons um the party felled most of them but spared the leader as it seemed that she was being differential to athelflaed the ranger for wearing the great pelt of sangzor Sangzor being a goat that nearly killed the paladin by headbutting her off a mountain. So um, if you haven't caught that moment, uh, it's one that's worth catching up with. <laughs> so the party, after fighting that, uh, after after that, explored some of the Amber Temple, found a couple artifacts right away, a couple magic items, and were then assailed by a trio of flame skulls. They were luckily able to defeat one of them before uh, a trio of fireballs could be launched and just kept it down to two. So um, having survived that, they are recuperating in the entrance to the Amber Temple. In the meantime, though, somewhere in Faerun, at what, uh, Cyvor, what is the name of the temple again? I, you are muted, just so you know. Say, sorry, cone of silence. Uh, Hexbane Abbey. <clears throat> in Hexbane Abbey, you have, as you are doing your um, typical chores and whatnot, cataloging, organizing, sweeping, parentheses, mindless grunt work, it caught your eye that standing on a pedestal in which a fragment of an amber necklace sat, a small dusting of snow lay scattered about it was then that an apparition appeared to you familiar someone that you had heard about thin wire rimmed glasses a cold hard expression carrying a spell book walking with a cane this was von richten I am sorry to reach out to you this way, but I am quite trapped here. There is not much time, but you must take this pendant of amber. Go into the forest north of the abbey. There is an altar there. It will transport you to where I am. I need your assistance. There is likely to be another to help you get there in the forest. Trust her, but only to a point. You must go now. Time is of the essence. And it fades. The snow begins to melt into a little puddle on the ground. From everything you've heard from the region that he comes from, the legendary gate and the cane that, despite being um, known as a fabled monster hunter, somehow he always walks with. This seems to be the one you've been researching, the man you've been searching for, now appeared to you in the basement of your own abbey. I should definitely tell somebody about this. R right? Right? I, I should. 
Well, of course you'd say that. I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, um... Uh... Uh, For right. someone to be a fly on the wall, they would see you speaking to yourself. Is am I hearing that correctly? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Um, so were we to be all flies on the wall, uh, who are we looking at um, pondering this next course of action? Oh well, you're not really looking at anybody because there's nobody there. But um, Cyborg speaks to the the ghost of his mother, or at least he thinks it's his mother. He, he's not sure. Uh, it's definitely a, a motherly feeling. So, uh, and uh, he only remembers her um, for uh, the brief time that they had together when he was younger. But uh, that's, I'm, I'm getting off track. I'm, you're distracting me. Okay. Um, so, I, I, I got to talk to somebody. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and seek out my teacher and see if there's anything I can do to. Well, no, he said time is of the essence. Okay. Nope, I win. Okay, nope. All right, we're going. All right, so uh, I start to head out to the forest, make my way out. So the wonderful thing about Hexbane Abbey is that it's an extra planar sort of uh, uh, structure. And so it exists both outside of time and, and in Faerun at the same time. So, mm -hmm. uh, and if you asked Cyborg to explain it, he doesn't understand it. Um, it hasn't been explained to him yet. So he thinks he's just kind of going outside. But as he goes outside, he is actually leaving the plane of existence that the Abbey exists in. So it, to the naked eye, he walks out of nothing. A lot, hmm. a lot, of, a lot of Cyborg walking out of and talking to nothing. It, he's a very lonely kid. So, um, uh, all right, I, I head to the forest. So uh, you are, as you are walking that way, we'll pause for a moment. Akantha, in a um, similar fashion, you find yourself alone in the forest, a particularly delicious bush of um, berries that once was there seems to have vanished, eluding you frustratingly. And as you are looking about, you hear a voice that has been gone for some time. Hello, my dear. It is the quiet voice of Fern. You look so well, my dear. I'm sorry. But, and you see now there are a number of ravens perched on the trees around you. She requires something of you. Yeah. She, she only tells you, me, she needs you, and that if you are very brave, mm -hmm. you will succeed. But there's someone who needs your help. Who needs my help? He, well, he will be coming this way. He needs to go somewhere terrible. You will be on, you will be beyond my reach and even hers. And that is why you must go. Where am I going? You can turn into something warm, correct? With good, <laughs> lots of fur. Good. You'll find out. I wish I could tell you. But this is her will. You'll be along shortly. Take him to the altar. I'm always with you, my dear. But this place will be beyond my eye. 
and hers. We need you to be the light there. I can turn all the lights on. I'll do it. I'll make you proud, Grandma. You hear a couple um, um, caws of ravens. A couple ruffle their feathers and you can hear the slightest bit of laughter. Mingles with the sound of the wind rustling through the trees and then fades a bit. He's here. And um, Sivor, as you are walking along the path, you suddenly see a flock, what seems to be a flock of ravens take off nearby uh, from a couple nearby trees. You know that they tend to travel in pairs, and so the fact that there are almost a dozen, maybe two dozen of them is startling. Hmm. And Akanta, you see this young man trouncing down the path. It's a lot of birds. Huh. Nice. What? Huh? What? Who said that? Down here. What? Show. Sure. Down here. I'm down here. You have to look through. And who does Cyvor eventually see? He sees me. I'm three foot tall. I'm really, really tall for my kind. I wear a green dress and I have long blonde hair and I have lots of crazy stuff in my hair because these are all my friends. Hello. Hello. Um, I, uh, I am Cyborg, uh, F- Felmorn. Uh, um, I was, there's a man in a gem, uh, uh the, the famous monster hunter, uh, uh, Rudolf von Riken. Did you, did he send you? Are you, are you here for me? I was told someone would be here to help. Uh, I'm supposed to turn all the lights on. So yeah, it's probably me. Are you the person that I'm waiting on to? Are uh, the altar? Are, are are you looking to the? Can you activate the altar for me? Uh, I don't know, but I could try. Yes. Oh, this is happening. It's finally happening. I am going on. A, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't get out of the abbey much. Oh, this is great. Okay, this is the first time I've ever been here either. Oh. Well, aren't you like the guardian of this place? I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. You're you're very small and, and also sort of naturey in nature. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, great, great. Um so the altar is I, I that don't way? Know where it is. Yeah, I don't know where it is. If that's where it is, then we should go there. We're just standing here. We're supposed to go turn all the lights on, so let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, um, great. I mean, <laughs> what could go wrong, right? All right. Absolutely uh, nothing. All right, let's go that way. Yeah. No, no, maybe this way. Okay. No, let's I go. think it's the other way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's go that way. Whoever's leading the way, make a survival check. You get lost and then you have to join next week. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> join us next week. All right. With a survival roll of 18. They're not getting lost. Very nice. Uh, Let's just make sure, sorry folks watching, that we have the um, our, uh, enable 3D dice and automatically roll 3D dice turned on so that way we can see when the dice uh, tumbles across the screen and we can all get that uh, I've set up Charles. I thought Ryan had it on already. Have you got an Yeah, I should have. It might be because it's, it's in it's a new, game by game. It's the game by game. Oh, yeah. you saucy minx. All right. Uh, also, Peter, oh, have you got any music playing? I me? do. I sure do I not have music oh, playing. Okay. I, have I thought it was me. the 3D dice. Um, <laughs> Wait, do you think the minxes taste good? Is that like a super <clears throat> something? Wait, what's that? I said, are saucy minx is good? That, is that a soup? I mean, it's the, really the only way to do yeah, mink yeah, is yeah. to put it in um, sous vide. Is to braise it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> there we go. I can hear things. I mean, because you don't want a dry minx. A dry minx is no good. Oh, just, yeah. That's just very, um, it's chalky. Definitely it's... extra braised. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gamey minx. <laughs> Gamey minx. <laughs> so so you, you deal with... weave your way 
through the forest, coming to a clearing near some running water. Looks so unlike Barovia. It it's hurts. Nearly evening, which is strange. It shouldn't be that time of day already. But uh, something has definitely shifted. You see a stone altar up a few steps just on the other side of what seems to be a naturally formed bridge caused by the falling of a tree. And though it's a clear night, the moon shines crystalline through the leaves of the trees, dancing off the wet moss. Despite this, a light dusting of snow seems to have covered this altar and in fact continues to fall. Except for this very small shape in the center of the altar. I will look up at Cywar. Is that where we're going? Is that the altar you were talking about? Did you it's, want to it's, put something on it? Do you know what that thing is? Yeah, it's the, it's the snow. We we found the place. You you are fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I, I, know, I don't think I did. asked. I don't think I asked your name. Uh, uh, Katha. 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 That's me. Katha. Katha. Okay. Nice to meet you, Katha. I'm. Um. Oh, you already introduced myself. I'm sorry. I'm. Oh, it's my first time out. I'm just I'm really excited. All right. So there's snow on the altar. That is a clue, and clues are great, right? Because they lead us to things. Um, we need all the clues, and we have to follow all the clues, and then when we get to the end of the clues, we can usually figure out what the problem is. Yeah, and then we we'll turn the lights on, and things will be great. Yeah, we can save the whole world. Yes. Okay. Um. How do we turn the altar on? Uh, they didn't really tell me that part. All the birds oh, are. Okay. You know what? On. No, it's oh, it's, it's fine. We can, yeah, we can figure it out. We can figure this out. We are, we're smart people. We got this. Um. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cross the bridge and then approach the altar and see what's okay. can I make investigation check as to what the object is on the altar. Absolutely. And, well, should I perceive that? I don't know. What do you want me to do, Peter? Uh, if you're going right up to it, uh, if you're going all the way up to the altar to look at it closely, investigation. Yeah. Lovely. All right. Huh. And with a... Do, do, do the thing. Yay. With a six. With I a six. Lo- so it's about the size of maybe like a a piece of fruit but not like a big one like not that not the best apple but sort of like one that's okay not the smallest one and your mind just go you run through man there are so many things that are this size and you think of all the fruit that could be that size and you're like why am i thinking about fruit yeah Yeah, i don't know it's it's about it's about this big (laughs) no you've you've definitely the shape of which though is brain thoughts (laughs) Pomegranate, like a lime, maybe not a lime. I don't even know what a lime is. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to poke it. Um, the moment you do, you um, have a, a flash, a vision of um, a mountaintop for a moment. You feel snow swirling around you. You um, the the cold bites you, your skin. It hurts. It hurts to inhale because it is so cold. And then the vision jumps forward. You see yourself descending stairs into an enormous cavernous room. A 40 foot tall statue with a globe of darkness in the head uh, for its head is there. You feel the cold stone on your knees. You look down to your hand. You see a frog. And you're sure soon this vision is about to end, but you bring it closer and closer to your mouth. And this live frog you feel put into your mouth and then slithering, writhing as it descends your esophagus for a moment. And then you back away from the altar back in your own reality.
I ate a frog. Did what? I I sorry, I had a um there's a vision and I ate a frog. But I was I wasn't here. I was uh, no, I should you shouldn't eat frogs. Frogs are nice. Doesn't make any sense. Well, what did you try poking the thing? To the uh I, I I poked it. Is that Did anything happen? Yeah, I got the I got a vision of a of a mountain that's far away, and then I traveled down a traveled down a staircase. And from the staircase, there was there's a statue, a forty foot ish tall statue, a globe of darkness about the head, and there's a frog in my hand, and I ate it. And that, well, that's not something I normally do. You're not really supposed to eat the frogs. Frogs are our friends. They can tell us so many I, things. That's what I, that's what I said. Yeah, frogs are nice. Exactly. What happens if I poke the thing? Hmm? What happens if I poke the thing? I don't I don't know, Kefa. Uh do you wanna do you wanna try? I'm gonna poke it. And I'm gonna skip up the stairs and I'm just gonna go bink. Okay. Right in the you touch it and you suddenly find yourself in a cavernous hall you see statues of human men and women in robes with pointy hats. You look up at one of them thinking, I will be greater. You then flash forward to an enormous library, a cylindrical room, books everywhere covering the walls like ivy wrapped around the inside of an old well. And one in your hand that you flip through and flip through. Your eyes hurt, feel like they're going to bleed pouring over this information. And then you feel yourself grow smaller, okay. weaker, weaker as the pages of the book flip, 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 endlessly. The information like daggers to your eyes. And you look at your hand. You see it is nearly fleshless. You are past death at some point. A stately ring is on your hand, but the flesh crumbles away, and as you turn one page, you see a snap, and you reach up and see that the old dusty fingernail has broken off your middle finger, and you are suddenly transported back to the forest. Well, I learned why I always hated reading. I never wanted to read, and it's probably a good thing that I shouldn't, because the last time when I was reading, I got a paper cut, but this time I made my hands turn to bone, and they went to dust. Yeah, so Cyvor, don't, don't read. <laughs> the, you feel cold. Something is, you, you think for a second something's burning you, like you've accidentally caught yourself on fire or something. But wherever you are keeping that pendant, that piece of the amber um, amulet, it seems to be radiating cold oh my god oh my pants oh well, please uh, don't take your pants off no one wants to see no it. i'm not taking no it's, there's there's a, please don't take your pants off no please there's don't something in my pants. pants it's just no it's not it's not a thing it's a it's but there's a thing <laughs> it's just a bit uh, th so this look this cold ow god it's cold uh, i drop it on the ground that this piece of ember <laughs> What? No, I'm I'm wearing pants. Akintha, I promise. I'm wearing pants. Okay. Um Akintha, what's your passive perception, by the way? <laughs> My passive perception? <laughs> oh. Oh. That was too good. Um mine sixteen. Oh uh, um Akintha? It is passive perception is a twelve. Okay. And Cyvor? 
Uh, mine is a 16. Oh. Well, as you drop it, and it falls on the floor between you, the small gnome is shielding her eyes in front of you. You realize, looking down at it now, and then seeing the indentation, the absence of snow upon the altar where you touched, that they about fit. Mm. They're about the same size. See, this this piece, that this amber piece led me here, led me to you, and then it's it's a puzzle. I, I can't, it's a piece of the puzzle. I like puzzles. What kind of puzzle yeah. is it? Uh, it's, uh, a cold one. So, uh, <laughs> all right. What, puzzle? what kind of puzzle is a cold puzzle? Does it have a bunch I, of pieces? Where are all the rest of them? No, that's just, just the one piece, and I think it goes with, okay, so uh, I'm gonna attempt to pick it up. Uh, Peter, is it gonna continue to burn me as I touch it? Make a constitution saving throw as you pick it up now and bring it forward. Um, while you do that, I just want to say a massive thank you for the raid that just come in. Welcome, everyone. Oh, um, cool. You enjoy awesome. your thank stay. You. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Con save. <laughs> and. Wow, I sure do like my Another... sixes tonight, <laughs> don't I? Mm. Um, you feel the cold travel up your arm. and I imagine you, I. You the, the, the shivering, you know, starts to encompass your whole body. You oh. take six points of cold damage. Fan freaking What do you do with it now? I, like, Im it, so I, 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 I drop it. I drop it again. Like, it, yeah, it's. Just it's, on the ground in front of you? Yeah, just. <laughs> okay. the, ow, my. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is awful. <sighs> no, I mean. Yeah. I'm okay. Uh, it's really cold to the touch. We have to be careful. Uh, I'm gonna. Close the touch. Okay. Okay. How far away is the piece from the the rest of the puzzle, Peter? It's it. I mean, if you had just reached out your hand, probably it, about yeah. two feet further, you would you could have just put it right there. All right. So Cyborg does this. He goes. <sighs> All right. Kate, are you ready? Okay, great, great. Yeah. We're gonna do this. And he grabs it and then tries to slam the two together. Okay, uh, since you dropped it and picked it up again, you need to make one more constitution saving throw. Absolutely, yeah. Con save, no more sixes. 20. Oh, oh, a three! Oh. Yes! Oh, even worse. Even worse. Oh, apparently I can't save. Uh, this time you take five points of cold. Oh, good, good. And, and he's dead. Uh, yeah, I should hope not. Yeah. And you, as the um, amber piece lands on the center of the altar, the snow kicks up and starts to swirl around you. Aketha and Saivor, you guys are blinded by this for a moment as the um, snow whoosh, starts to vortex around you. You can see nothing for a moment. And you think, surely this has to stop in a moment. Where is all this snow coming from? And the air gets colder and colder around you. It gets harder to breathe, as in this lush forest air, so filled with oxygen, now turns to something thin, like you're gasping for, um, for every breath that you have to take. And you see yourself somewhere different entirely. The vortex stops. The snow now travels in a straight line sideways. And you all see yourselves in front of a group, or you both see yourselves in front of an enormous temple high atop a mountain. Six figures clad in amber stand in all coats high above. And between in the center, a large door leading inward. You can hear something going on inside. Chaos and a flash, an enormous flash of red, as if something has just caught fire. And then nothing. It is bitterly cold. What did you do? 
Forgot a coat? Because you know it's yeah. really cold right now, and you probably what did I think you broke something? I did uh, you break it? I put it back together. I, that's usually not breaking something. Well, they always say you probably my grandma always said that you probably shouldn't fix something that's not broken. Yeah, but it was broken, so I fixed it. That's yeah, I mean, that's it was broken. Now it could have been just fine like that. You know what? That's fair. I didn't ask it, but we should probably See, that's be out of rude. If you don't ask something, if you go around picking things up and shamming them together, that's that's kind of rude. All right. Well, n next time we find a broken, I was got, I was really excited to go on the adventure, and also it's still cold. C can we maybe go in? Should we go in? Oh, Do you no, want to go freezing. in? I think all my toes fell off already. Okay, so let's let's go in, right? Uh, this place doesn't have a bunch of frogs that we're supposed to eat, does it? I don't. I don't think frogs can survive up here. It's really cold. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tell you what. Tell you what. You keep a lookout for frogs. I'll keep a lookout for books. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Don't, don't, don't read any books. All right. Good plan. Good plan. Um, do you have any, do you have any weapons on you? Uh, and I'd use primal savagery to make my nails grow really long. I have these. Oh. Do these count? <laughs> you nailed it. Well done. <laughs> oh god, oh. I forgot if Ryan's gonna come with all the puns. <laughs> you invited me. That, you gonna... invited me. <laughs> <laughs> because he said that, I'm gonna give him a high five and when I do my my nails are so long I can't control them, they accidentally scratch his hand just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> He's lost <laughs> ten hit points already. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh while Two they're walking in damage. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Pixie, who has donated five hundred bits. So we all need to roll a D twenty. Ooh, all right. Oh, Everyone. thank you, Pixie. I'm going to roll my massive one just, just oh, for that. Oh, do it. If you have inspiration oh, already. Almost a 19. If you have inspiration already, you don't need to roll. Oh, oh God, I'm not going to And I came in with a 10. Right. All right, well, at least we beat the DM. Thank you. You did. Yeah. I already have inspiration, though, to be honest. Oh, well done, Teresa. Ha, ha, ha. I have a 14. So it's just. I got a 15. Are you in there? I, I did. I, I don't know if it did it oh, go no. off roll twenty. Uh, I was, was it in there? I haven't seen it. Did you roll digitally or with actual dice? With your gigantor d twenty. Now I have an actual dice. But uh, I didn't. Uh, yeah, up the top left. If you click on the little dice, you should notice anyway. But and then just click on the d twenty. It's in roll twenty, mm -hmm. not in D and D Beyond. But thank you very much, Pixie. Looks like Teresa's mm -hmm. winning it at the moment, unless Chow can Ooh. pull it out the bag. Come on. Not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> roll the dice. Roll the roll dice. dice. Roll the dice. Don't roll the dice. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, rolling, but, um, so I don't have a ton. You could also write slash R 1D20. Oh Indeed. Yeah. Yes. Slash. As we are Seems figuring impressive. out this role, just letting you know that certainly align us with your passive perception. And probably where you are having just finished this battle, Athelflaed, you both hear strange voices outside. <laughs> well, squeaky voices. <laughs> one squeaky, one. I'm not squeaky. Yes, I was a little squeaky. Does anybody hear that? I mean, if I hear it, then everyone must hear it. <laughs> yes, I hear it. I hear something. Not sure what it. it is. I got nothing. Right. Uh, hang on. Right, so top left. I think my ears are a little clogged. You, see you the can also just click on the D20. Yeah, Yeah. Top, top left. You see the the actual bar top left. There's a In roll 20. Yeah, in roll 20. There's one that looks like a mm -hmm. dice. If you hover over that, it shows you some dice. It's the one above the question mark. Question mark? In roll twenty. Inquisitive eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Eyebrow. Mm -hmm. like, um, Can you see it? I see no question marks and I see no dice. You see no dice. Um, Pixie just wrote down the command in the Twitch chat. If you just want to copy paste. Forward slash r space slash one d twenty space one d twenty. Man, Pixie is just helping us out on so many levels. There you go. DM's just typed it, but without the brackets. 
no. Oh, there it is. No, oh. no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, wait, that was the That's DM roll. Never mind. That's okay. <laughs> that was me. And that one doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. Nah. Hang on, let me grab that. Sorry, I can't I don't have Twitch pulled up because my oh. internet, oh, internet may yeah, yeah. not. It yeah. may That's drop. All good. Yeah, 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 yeah. just copy the slash totally. R space D two zero. Okay. See that. Oh. It's gonna be a natural Should they go take now. a look. She's been keeping this all waiting. Without, without the, yeah, without the brackets. All right, My we go. God. <clears throat> I swear I'm a 32-year-old adult that does have to use a computer at work. <laughs> She's just what? in this gnome character who doesn't like to read. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Whoa. Oh, she that comes in with the 19. Yes. Happy Fine. about that at all. So you get proper, so you have... proper, proper inspiration. Proper, proper inspiration. Proper, proper so inspiration. when you're going to make a d20 roll, you can um, decide to use it, in which case you roll, you can do the roll with advantage. Um, the it's You can choose which roll to use, uh, but you have to decide before you roll the first dice. You can't have a bad roll and decide, are I these, wanna roll that again. Are these transferable? Yes, they usually they are. are. Yes. If she would like right. to grant it to someone else, or if yeah. anyone well, would like to- I can share it if okay. somebody needs it. You okay. can, yeah, but, but yeah. before they roll. Um, also, yeah, you, in D and D Beyond, you've got a, a little tab that you can click on for inspiration, so you know you've got inspiration. Well, um, I don't think we're in a position to be attacked again. Should I go check? Yeah, uh, just give it a quick look. Right, I'll go give it a quick look. I will uh, sneak around the corner to see what I can see. Okay, I'm here in sneak. Uh, that usually. Yes, it does. Usually means a stealth roll. With a 26. They certainly will not be able to beat that, and you are sort of shadowed in darkness anyway. Um, you see a small little gnome with very long fingernails and a um, young human male. So did the, are they outside? They are. They are out here. And they look very cold. At least one of them does. And did the two of you decide you wanted to go inside? Were you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's okay. cold. So, and you see them walking forward into the temple. I take a defensive position around the corner from the door and just keep an eye out for Jeswaldo. You're a little bit. Quiet. I look back at uh, at Claire and I put hold of a uh, hand with two fingers. As I, as I start to approach the stairwell or, or the door, the entryway, I'm gonna silently, like, sort of. Rudolph, <laughs> Professor von Reichten. Do we hear him? Hmm. That's where he lives? Is this his house? Uh, well, he he sent me the message to to come f find him. I think. Oh, now I'm not sure if he'd want me to find him. He definitely sent me here, though, so it makes sense that he might be here, right? Well, yeah, I guess if he was supposed to. If he was supposed to be here, if he, was told, if he told you to go here, then yeah, then, yeah he should be here. Just one of those steps around the corner. Hello. Oh. Uh, can I help you with something? Is that him? Are you a Rudolph? Uh, no, is... my name is Jesualdo Tocarembo La Tomba del Fuego, Santa Maliba Zacatega, the Hotel de Santa Cruz in De La Rosa, and I am at your service. Uh, who are you? Sorry, what? I, I, I asked, I... who are you? That is a fantastic oh, name. Thank you. Well, thank you. Like, you oh, gonna... we're going to get along very well. Um, you are? Uh, uh, looking for uh, Rudolf von Reichten. I see. Uh, he is not here, oh. but I can tell you where he probably will be. Does he live here? Uh, no, no, he does not. Who live here? Does well, there are we okay? Can we have some I, I, they're looking for the guy, the, the the fellow who is pretending to be charming. What? Sorry, your audio cut out there a bit. Okay, though. What were you? What was? What did you ask? Can we have some tea. It's really cold. <laughs> Von Richten. That was the guy. Yes, they're looking for him. He's not here, is he? I don't think so. Should I send them to, uh, Balaki? Well, get them out of the goddamn cold first. Are you, are you here from the Abbey as well? I, I'll, I'll come out and sort of 
stand near the hall. Um, this is Claire. Um, these two have yet to give me their names. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, 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 Felmorn, Cyborg, Cyborg Felmorn. I, uh, Felmorn, Cyborg, Cyborg Felmorn? Yes, uh, Cy- Cyborg, just Cyborg Felmorn. Just, uh, just the two. <laughs> uh, and this, I'm sorry, this is. My name's Akantha. I'm a druid. I'm a nomad. I'm from here to save the world, and I'm going to turn all the lights on and save the world. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. You hear in the background, <laughs> um... in the distance. Don't let her in. No, that's not very nice. That's rude. Well, you know, if we don't let them in, they'll probably freeze to death. Are you yeah, all right just... with that, Alimus? It's essentially killing down. them. My toes already fell off. Like, I'm, I'm sort of beckoning them down the hallway. I'll, I'll, I'll walk down the hallway. Um, okay. Do you guys have another light source that you have uh, generated here? If not... Um, well, we have a couple of humans here. Yes, I see. I see a bunch of torches in the room with the. Uh, there is some light the spilling onto this landing Waldo. here from the torches, but it is otherwise very dark. Oh, I'm sorry. That one, that, just, um, just one second. One second. Alimus and Cyborg Does personality count. Draws his <laughs> short sword, which uh, starts to glow. Uh, has about like a 15 foot radius of light from it. It's a pale, okay. almost silver light. Very cool. When you do, you see that um, the you cannot see the sort of bottom of this the landing here, uh, the so the main floor. Sorry, you can see that there are stairs descending on either side. You can just barely make out the um, arched ceiling, but the back of this cavernous room is still shrouded in darkness. It is very large. Wow. Though, for a moment, the steps look familiar to you. This place looks huge. And, oh, this is incredible. Oh, 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 guys... oh, 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 okay. You mean this, tell me this whole this time? Is a, the, okay, this is a very dangerous place. Oh, yeah. Many oh, no, of things course. and creatures here that will kill you if you are not careful oh, and so quiet. I'm sure they can find What's... out for themselves. Why don't you go Well, there's a place the right out. over here. There's a place right over here uh, with some bedrolls, and uh, it's very comfortable. You can rest here, and we will come find you when we leave. Oh, no, we're supposed to tell no. all the ones that save what? the world. No, 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 no. This is, yeah, no, what she, what, what she said. We're, we're here to help. We're, yeah. we're supposed to, yeah. I mean... <laughs> here to help you don't even have a cloak who would well, come up a mountain without a cloak i mean so we, really uh, so yeah okay yeah i forgot a, I, I forgot a coat I, I i didn't think i would be traveling on a mountain i was told to go to the forest and suddenly i was here and well we were here i, I put a puzzle together it was cold <laughs> oh, oh they came through the mist you were elsewhere oh, did you see a strange mist um it was more like a like a like a snowstorm, like a flurry of uh, of snow, and then it was just sort of cascading around. Like I snapped the pieces together, um, and then we were here. Or we actually were out there, and I, sh- I should have brought a coat. I'm so yeah. Was, if Richten uh, called him directly, that might have been a different method than our own entry. Well, what the horrible thing to do! And now putting a puzzle piece back together without asking at first—that was pretty rude. For, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, there was a puzzle. You put puzzles together. That's what anyway. I'm asking. Let's take this conversation to the other room, shall we? <laughs> and I'll sort of sh- scoot everyone towards the the barbarian former barbarian room. Okay. Um, Bar- oh, <laughs> what are they now? They're former. That's, that's uh, fine. So you guys, <laughs> so are as you, you guys enter, as they guide you into this room, you see the corpses of. Um, you know, half a dozen um, heavily muscled men wearing um, leathers and um, and coats, no doubt. Coat. There you go. Yeah. So why is it called the such. former Barbara? Oh my god! Uh, where are the rest of their clothes? They don't mm-hmm. wear any. This is amazing. Thank you. Well, really Did you do happy. this? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, okay, uh, so uh, Cyber's going to start to look around, see if he can find a cloak or something that's not 
the least blood soaked version of that. So, so and as he's doing this, so are you all from the Abbey? Are you are you with the the, the witch hunters? We uh, came from a lot of places. Um, it's a very long story. Yeah, and. To be honest, the best policy for both of you is probably just to, at least for now, imagine that you're dreaming. But oh if God. you die, you'll really be dead. Does that make sense? Yeah, but if, if you die, you're, you're already dead anyway, so why would we okay, have to Okay, so... Do you're dreaming. I mean, no, we're not. Oh, you want to be, trust me. I'm not even tired, I don't want to go to sleep for no dreaming. You can have it your way. But it's a curse. It's just a way of thinking about things. Why would you think like that? Why would you want to so, be dreaming when you're really not dreaming? Because there's so much stuff you'd miss out on. And what about life? And what about everything else that you can do in the Just life? remember yeah. that I said it when the time comes. So are we... I don't even remember what your name was. <laughs> just, just... Just Waldo, Waldo will do. do. Just Waldo. Just Waldo. De La Rosa, right? Yes, Jesualdo de la Rosa. Thank you. Uh, those, those are the only chunks I caught. Sorry. We do have, you know, I guess two new characters as well. So as you guys are all gathered in this room, uh, by the way, with the torches, uh, a few campfires as well, this room is more comfortable. It's still a little chilly, but um, it's warmer than outside, certainly. Um, but uh, let's maybe starting with Alimus, who does the uh, who do the new members of the party see? They see a cowed and ho sorry, a hooded human, young, scrawny, bit of bum fluff, probably in his 18, maybe 18, 19 years old. Um, his, his robes are black, and he's standing there with this in staff of blue crystal ice and in his other hand he's also got another staff which looks black crooked and looks like pure evil but yeah that's what you see and how about Jeswaldo? Jeswaldo is a handsome man he has a uh, scruffy beard does not look like he takes very good care of it but a very Impressive handlebar mustache. He has uh, two jeweler's braids uh, that keep the long hair out of his face. Long ponytail in the back, dark hair, dark tan skin. He is wearing a cavalier's hat with a very long feather. Um, and he has uh, some leather armor, a, uh, and a heavily brocaded and the fancy tunic with a little bit of leather reinforcement, long rapier with a very impressive handle, uh, excuse me, a very impressive hilt. Um, he, he's wearing a very elaborate shield. Um, it's a sort of a, a Italian Spanish Renaissance shield that has uh, blades. It's like a buckler that has blades coming out of it in several different um, directions. It's a, a gauntlet that has a spike coming out the end and a spike coming straight at the 90 degree angle from the end of it and several different blades. Um, you know, long riding boots and a uh, cape over half a shoulder. Hmm. Very cool. Claire? I, I reddish auburn haired woman um the dark gaze uh heavily armored um in sort of a dark metal and blue coloration um and several nasty looking star scars extending up from the high neck of her armor up onto her face um big heavy shield um with an emblem uh depicting two eyes surrounded by seven stars Cool. And Athelflaed. Um, half elf, uh, about mm, what five foot four, uh, sort of extremely pale green skin, with uh, dark green eyes that have some gold in them, uh, just sort of nondescript leather outfit, sort of blends with the background in most rooms, and then um, the most 
noticeable thing about her beyond her bright red hair is uh, these tattoos that she has on the back of her hands that like sort of wind around and under the armor, which you can't see right now, they do go all the way up onto her back where they meet like behind her neck. Cool. You also see an elf. Um, he is leaning a bit heavily on his staff at the moment, looking injured. He has very dark features. Uh, he doesn't look like any elf you've seen. The um, uh, the color of his skin is almost like a drow, but a bit more gray, um, almost ashen. And his hair is black. The His features are sharp, but not um, quite as pointed or um, harsh as you would expect from a drow. Um, very different from any elf you've seen, to, seen before. And he says, he speaks up and he says, well, this is all well and good, but we have a purpose here, do we not? Of course. Um, well, that last fight was a little nasty. Everyone um, doing okay? Oh, Could fine. be better. What do, what do we see when they come in? Yeah, you guys want to describe your characters again? The, give a physical description? Yeah, yeah so uh, as... Cyber walks into the room, you see a short sword that is glowing with like a silver blue sort of light as he sheathed it. He also has a belt, uh, or a belt, a leather uh, a whip attached to his hip. Um, and then sort of stuck in various spots, you can see to the keen eye, there are several uh, small knives that are like tucked into his outfit. Um, but to your eyes, he has no armor on whatsoever uh he's a young kid uh, about 20 um but anybody who looks directly into his eyes sees that this kid has seen some things uh so despite his overly plucky manner um he's no stranger to tragedy but at the same time refuses to sort of let that beat him down um there's no scars on him yet but um yeah oh and that's uh, no, silver haired. So, a human, cool. yeah. Human. Was See, that a human? Human. Human. Yes, human. And uh, Akanta, uh, besides uh, any some, some more details on your little gnome, that's what we're looking at. Yes, I am a super tall, three foot gnome. Mm -hmm. Got blonde, messy hair. It's got flowers and sticks and sparkles and things all in it absolutely no weapons of any kind on her no armor she's got a green dress on with a brown leather boot she's got a bag looks like it's packed a little bit heavier than it should be and it's got some bits and bobs hanging out you see some shirt sleeves like or maybe a sock hanging out from the side and her nails are still really long because she hasn't put them back yet yes these are people who are totally prepared for Barivia. Uh, no one can possibly be totally prepared, right? No, that's fair. I don't think any of us were. Um, it looks like you need band-aids. Um, what is a band-aid? It's yeah. a thing that my grandma made that you... It's, it's a band, band that aids you if you're hurt. Uh, okay. You, um, you mean you can heal? That's delightful. That's good to hear. I could oh, definitely should. use some if you're willing to offer. You, you see that a number of the people here are covered in scorch marks, burns, um, um. some limping a bit. Um, you see that uh, a portion of Casimir, with the elf who spoke earlier, it has. It looks like he's got a. Um, he's his hand is sort of shaking as um, looks to be a second degree burn covering almost his entirety of his hand and arm. Mr. Shaky Hand, do you want me to heal you first? Because that looks pretty nasty. Mm. I would... I would not object to it. Okay, come here, 
you're gonna have to take a refrigerator sleeve up so I can get all my gooey sacks and stuff all over it, and you're gonna have to let it sit there and heal, and I'm gonna bind it up with a band-aid. All right, while this is happening, uh, I think that since we have already been down this hall and did not activate anything dangerous, this should be the way to go. I should. And yeah. it's, Casimir does extend his arm. Are you casting a spell or or are I'm you going to use my healer's kit? Okay. So do you have a I think the healer's kit is used to stabilize someone who is like bleeding out. Or my medicine. I can use my my medicine thingy. Do you have the feet healer? Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I did take that one. I can't oh, well, in that case, in that case, you can use it to restore hit points. Nice. I think. One d six. Okay. I have to go in here and find it so I know exactly what it does. Hold on. Yeah. So if you have healer, you can roll a one d six and use your medicine kit to to do that. And it has okay. ten uses, so it's you can use it. That would come in the very handy many times. All right, just while the will um, go down to the end of the hall and give a listen at that door. Don't stray too far. Oh no, just there want to find out what's ahead. There mm -hmm. are three doors along the way ah. as well, and then the double doors at the end. Well, I will listen at each door, each door. Okay, as you wander off, go ahead and make that perception check. Uh, Akanta, how many uses of your medicine kit are you using? On him. You have ten per healer's kit. Ten per healer's kit. Uh how how hurt is he? Um he seems to be at about half of his hit points. Um uh, but the burns aren't terrible. I think you can only you think... use it once per person. Oh until they I didn't finish see a short or long rest. Yeah. Okay. Then you can only use it once on him. So I'm okay. half health as well. Me please. <laughs> yeah, I'm so half health. <laughs> So I roll, to... I'm fine. Yeah, so roll a d6. It looks like you're healing three Sneaky people. Bastard. And me too. So four people. If you're willing to use four uses of it, four people could definitely use it. So that would be four. Yes. Um, roll four instances of a d6. Not four d6 added together, but um, roll a d6 four times. In the meantime, um, Jaswaldo, which door are you? Uh, door listen? number one, if you please. With a roll of a 13. Okay, so somebody got you five. Listen. Okay. Uh, just while do you hear silence beyond the door? I think this right. door is. I think the f first one was going to be Casimir, so that's he is appreciative of those five hit points. Certainly, I think Claire raised her hand next. Damn it! Okay. Somebody got six. I'm going to get a natural one in all. <laughs> I will listen at the second Ooh, that's door. that's not bad. Thank you. Very, very five. So I get wow, nine. look at this. That's nine back, yeah? Um, door just number Waldo, two. You're feeling pretty good about with these series of rolls. So you place your ear to each of these three doors. You hear nothing beyond any of them. I think these three rooms are empty. Or whatever is beyond them, there's no one there. Should we open the doors? I think we should take a peek. All right, I will open the door of the one I just listened to, the middle door. Uh, just quickly, how does that read? So it's 1d6 plus four, and then plus on top of that, oh. the hit dice. Is that right? Plus the number of hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit. Okay, so you all gain another four plus uh, level seven, it would be plus another seven, right? Nice. Ooh. So you all get another 11 on top of that, which is... Nice. That's fantastic. Nice. That's insane. That's awesome. Oh I'm... <laughs> Healer feet. I was half health. That took me two away from Max. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Little druid coming in clutch. You will see uh, Casimir will... <sighs> look at the bandaging job you've done and say... That is... Remarkable. Thank you. Well, at least one of it's you has. It's deeply appreciated. Use. Thank you. 
Just don't get, don't get burned again, because that looks really bad. It looks like you got into some trouble, and you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> we have um, we have a knack for finding trouble. It's sort of unavoidable here. That's fantastic. <laughs> Your enthusiasm is questionable. Short to live. Oh, I'll take anyway. that. I'll take that. Uh. Looks like we're going down the hallway, yes? Is that what I... I uh, said I wanted to open the door in the middle. Join me in the hall. (laughs) In the middle? Well, uh, that was the one that I rolled the best perception check for so far. I will open that one first. And uh, so... uh, Akantha and Cyvor, do you see your tokens are out here on the... in the snow? I will bring you guys into the hallway so you can move along to wherever you guys are going. Do you see yourselves there? Do you see those tokens? And can you move them? That Once. is the question. <clears throat> I do not see my token. It's kind of gray. Yeah, so. it's kind of like camouflaged into the... Oh, great. I say, so I'm passing my stealth check is what you're saying to yeah. me. All right. Great. And I like it. I like it so much. We're pinging it right here. And uh, Akanta, can you see yours and can you move oh! it? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Peter, I if you press if you press uh, shift when you ping, it'll automatically move the uh, center. Oh, look at that! There you go. Just let me know if you can move it. So I cannot. All right. In that case, so go to your journal, which is the um, the uh, I think the second tab for the players. Newspaper thing. Yep, and then just drag your character on. All right, I just did that for me. Okay. I could not move mine. Put mine on now. Perfect. Yeah, and I'm there's giant. one for you. Yeah, she's giant. I'll resize you. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Now you should be <laughs> all fair. set. Perfect. Is that health perception armor? Is that? Uh, sure. I usually just ask. Um, I don't. Um, refer oh, well. to the bubbles yeah. so um, you will Fair enough. don't don't worry about it for this session all right so Middledore. before we go on what happened to our ponzi friend aren't you the ponzi friend the other no ponzi i friend. am the ponzi hat as long as you admit um, it that's fine Never. um he you will see um casimir's rock and said he told me he went to scout a hand while you are were, while you all were distracted. Well, maybe he will find what he was looking for. Oh. Well, he's maybe looking he's, for the maybe same he's thing inside that, this door. He's looking for the, the door. that Casimir is looking for. Uh, you open the door to reveal a very small little hallway. Well, forward. There's an amber door on the other side of it. Always these goddamn amber doors. I will step forward and I will listen at that door. Remember the wand I gave you, Dishwalder? That's right, I know I have it, but... It is... silent. (sighs) I will open the door. Okay. It will reveal a staircase down to mm. going down 10 feet to a landing and then curving to the left further down. Well, this is clearly going to another part of the temple. Should uh, <clears throat> we explore up here first? Or? We should stay up here. Yes. yes. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> What'd you find? Informally. Uh, more stairs. Cool. That's that's great. Ivar, could you come back? You're making me really nervous in the out of the room. Of course. No, of course. Yeah. 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 Try yeah. not to get away from the rest of us. Too Let's much. check out these other doors. No, of Just course. Cover of course our bases. Not. Yeah. Teamwork. Awesome. All right. Why don't you first? go open that? Why don't you go open that door that we passed back there? What a fucking little ray of sunshine. What? Which? The one back by the the dead barbarian room? Yeah, that one. No, that one right there, next to the charred corpse. Yeah, sure. Uh, great. <laughs> yeah. This, okay, so this this one right here, right? Just yes. All right. That one. That was the fireballs that yeah. killed him. 
Um, uh, check checking the door for any sort of marks or any, just anything off sure. about Make it. Make an investigation check. All right, all right. Let's see here. <laughs> no silver dies. Your, I am uh, consistently low rolling it. It is a uh, perfectly normal amber door, like every other amber door you've seen. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Try that one right next to the charred corpse. Does well though. Oh my god. No, no. no. Let me take a look at the charred corpse for a second. The, okay. The corpse was killed by those skeleton heads there. That cast fire. So, yes, it's perfectly there safe. There's nothing to worry about. Is there any way in which, like, the corpse is laid out that could tell me, like, where the source of the flame came from? Um, uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Since that's uh, been going so oh, well good. so far. Would he get advantage, <laughs> as I've just told him exactly where it came from? Uh, probably. <laughs> that is a pretty good help action. And it certainly did help with a 19. Nice, nice. Oh. Um, so, you can tell that this entire end of the hallway seems to be covered in um, black sort of char. And the uh, source was probably this side of the hallway based on how the fire spread around the corners and whatnot, um, charring at certain patterns. And the, it looks like this body was actually thrown backwards a bit and slid across the floor, leaving sort of a um, trail of ash in one spot. I, as he's doing that, I, I lean in towards Jezwaldo. Can you leave the poor kid alone? I want to see leave if what? he actually do. I won't let him actually open the door. But if he's that naive. Okay, but you had your own fair share of bullshit when you got here, okay? Well, wouldn't it have been nice if there had been someone like me to help me out? Like you? Well, you mean like <laughs> me mean like searching me. every door for you? So, so the yes, flame source, been nice. Peter, came from this? It down and the it, hallway, some this side of the hallway, yes. And your companions are telling you that they fought something in this room that probably caused those flames. I kick over a skull towards him. Yeah, and you see a little k k k skull roll towards you. All right, that's perfectly safe. There's no more danger. Would I know what that is? Uh, go ahead and make a uh, religion check. Or if there's a check you feel appropriate, to, I suppose religion or arcana would be. I'll go with. I'll go with. Well, they're the same. So let's see what, let's see what I do. Back to my sixes. Awesome. <laughs> Apparently, I've studied for years and remember not of it. But was um, the book you read green? That's what happens when you're under pressure. It's uh, that's a that's a skull. I mean, what? Why would, uh, you, why would you kick a skull? Casimir leans over to you and says, "It was flying before." Wreath in green flame. Yes, one of those. Oh, mom. You guys fought a flaming skull? Two. What? Two. Two flaming skulls? I thought there were three. Three. Three, actually. Three. <laughs> three. Three flaming skulls? Yes, so could Four. you please be <laughs> Could you please be more cautious and maybe just... not listen to Jezwaldo? About he, opening that door. Because the... Is there a skull behind that door? I don't, don't know. know. Could there you could not be. find out? But you should definitely open the door. I'm sure it'll be perfectly safe. Oh, just well done. Enough with the bullshit. Open the door. All right, so... Uh, so, if I... S All right. Sean, what, what kind of handle's on the door? Um, It appears you would just simply push it open. Um, All right. Has a free swing hinge. So if I stand there, can I hit it with my whip? You could try. Hit you also see that this door is carved from solid amber, so it is made of stone. Um, Got it. So it's not gonna be able to like just be shoved. Well, possibly. probably shoved. Yes, it's like the other doors shoved. You can move them. They're on standing hinges, but the uh, crack of um, leather, it's probably not gonna do it. Got it. Got it. Huh. Could give it a sh could give it a shot. <laughs> All right. So you see him like back up a little bit. He kind of like eyeballs the door, gets his whip out, tries a little, like practice cracks, and then it's 
This lines up, lines up the Let's shots. But... Just watch. This is your fault. This <laughs> yes, I fully admit that. But uh, I was going to stop him from opening the door, but now I want to see what he's going to do. All right. So were you, he... I, what were you saying, Akanta? I thought I heard you chiming in there. Oh, well, if they need in the door, I can help you with that. Oh, oh let's no, want to try oh this real no. quick. Cracks and rolls an 18. This loud snap echoes through the hallway and you can hear <laughs> echo through the room beyond. And the door mm, swings just a bit forward, but but before they push it open, doesn't open. But before they push it open, Massive thank you to Ugluck for 500 bits. So if everyone wants to roll another t D20. Oh, man. Hey. Wow. Nice. Wow, D you. DM and Chelsea can't because they've got it already. No, right Ooh, on, right on. 15. Good job, just well done. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I have oh, rolled God. 10 again. It's the lowest, yeah, isn't it, I this time? I got a three. So who it's is like it? It's Jez Waldo. Waldo. Yes, yeah. excellent. I can make these encounters so, so much harder now. Hey, hey, no, no, don't you. Do. So, thank you very much. I well, luck. Much appreciated. Very impressive well. whip skills. Uh, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. But um, we did determine that being quiet in here was better than not, right? Generally speaking. Yes. You said you said stay with the group, and then you. Uh, I'm so, I'm, yeah, right, right, right. Cyborg, puts, it's okay. Puts, puts the it's okay. No, you yeah, just course, need yeah. to be careful. No, yeah, of course, careful. Oh, I like him What good job. You, uh, you, that's a very that's safe way to open just... the door. I'm impressed. And Jeswalda goes over and just opens the door. <laughs> oh. Revealing. <laughs> there are um, two stone blocks that resemble tables standing, standing in the Stand center up? of this room. <laughs> they are covered in dust. Carved into the stone walls are niches, niches filled with hundreds of dusty bottles. Cobwebs hang from wooden ladders that lean against the walls. It seems to be a room used to store potions and the like. Jeswaldo, remember in your pocket mm? you have a stone of light. I forgot about that. I, I pull out the stone of light. About that earlier. I'm putting it in my inventory. I won't bother. It doesn't last forever. Oh, never mind. I'll put no, a stone definitely... in my inventory. That will last forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, this is definitely not my area, so I'll let our sort of more arcane inclined. I will get. What is it like? A around. what is it, like a wine room? It's a potion room. Looks yeah. like. Oh, I will have a look. Could also be a wine room. Well, if there you want to complain about it, sure. Wine in here, I'm not complaining. Address. I pick up one of the bottles. <sighs> A cloud of dust <laughs> kicks out. <laughs> sorry, Jesus. sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Um, it seems to be whatever's inside it seems to be dried out. It's like a bottle filled with dust. Natural twenty. It's like a, it's like shaking a broken lo light bulb. Ooh, oh, twenty-eight. Very nice. You, oh, unfortunately, damn. will discover that all of these bottles have suffered the same fate. You were lucky to find um, a working scroll, but it seems that at least the bottles of potions here have all crumbled and fallen to the decay of time. What was that scroll again? And greater restoration. Oh, yes, I think Claire And in doing it. so, you also, looking around, reveal a secret door here. Which you know where it leads to. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's a very secret. But okay. Hmm? Imagine living someplace where you have an entire room for nothing but potions and wine. Heaven, isn't it? That sounds pretty good. Well, so great. Where to next, Claire? Yeah, yeah. Uh, up the hall. Might as well cover our bases. Opening the door. Yep. What about this one? It swings yeah, that's open, it, this one. Yeah. revealing a 12 foot tall model of a dark castle with high walls and tall spires. Behind it, tucked in a corner, are some ruined furnishings and a wooden chest. 
Um, does this castle look familiar? It does. Is um, it perhaps this, Ravenloft? It looks to be an exact replica, as far as you can tell, of Castle Ravenloft. Do, do you remember back in uh, in Barovia, in that uh, creepy house, there was the, the, the model of the house, and we were able to look at mm. it and see secret doors and things in the house we were actually in. Yes. Yeah. What condition is you this think in? We... DM? Is it in pristine condition? Uh, it is. So clearly magical then. Um, make a, go ahead and make an arcana check. Unless it's been built recently, I don't know. Uh, 23. So, you detect a faint aura of magic about it. It seems to, what, whatever craft was used to create this model was, it, it, it's been magically enhanced, uh, magically sculpted somehow. I wave my hand over it. This is definitely, 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 definitely magical. Who okay. has the best memory? Well, I've, I've got cartography skills. I, I could make a map. Oh. Huh? All right, Cyvor. Time to step mm. up. Azalus with your cartography. I investigate for in traps or anything chest? first. Nowhere near as bombastic as my whip. Oh, game, but. Should I use the... <laughs> should I use the thing? I would, yes. Alright. I, I don't think I have very many of these. Three. But I will use the Wand of Secrets. Okay. Um, so, uh, first of... Uh, the We'll get to it in a second. The Wand of Secrets is... Well, first of all be torn between this secret door here, but it will also direct you over to this chest. Hmm. I was going to go look at that. So, Cyborg, are you going to, like, what are you doing with your cartographer's tools with this? Um, so, basically, sort of uh, creating a general overlay of the map, trying, mm -hmm. like, as, as, as best I can, and then marking any sort of points of entry and then if there are if the group has any suggestions as to what i should mark or not mark down uh, open to that as well basically just trying yeah. to do the best sort of overlay of the castle i don't grounds. think anybody can help you with cartography no i can't yeah it's nobody else is proficient in that so go ahead um do you make a um Please don't uh, we okay. could at the very least describe no, no, no. the um the conditions of the um the surrounds yeah so, and uh, so this will this this is very interesting and very cool and could potentially help you later on um mm -hmm. use a, a, um, a cartographer's tools check so use your wisdom modifier and add Does your anybody have bonus. Uh, uh, guidance, uh, wisdom guidance modifier and add or... bonus? okay uh hold on hold on hold on before you do that uh no i don't have that less Akanta, do you have some uh what would you ability like me to, to um roll peter uh, magically guide him in this attempt. You have the guidance cantrip, I think they're asking. Yeah. <laughs> do, I, do I have? Do I have this? I don't know why that happened. Just ignore whatever that is. <laughs> uh, I don't think she does. Okay. I'm spying um, on your character sheet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, will we do it? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we've got nothing. Yeah. All right. Don't uh, don't piss me off, or you guys will get fleas. So yeah. <laughs> oh god. So that roll will be a d20, just plus your um, proficiency bonus and plus your wisdom modifier. Okay. Okay. Just a flat twenty. Big money. Big money. Big money. Right. So oh, it'll boy. be plus six to this roll. Yes, indeed. All right. Rolling. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yes! 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 With a 24. Woo! That's the time to roll high. Yeah, yes. seriously. It's like, not a six, not a six, not a six. Oh my god. You yeah. guys, um, not just as he's going about it, you think he's, oh, what's going on here? It's not just a map of the grounds, of the walls, but there's almost like an architectural sketch that goes along with it. You see, you know, a, a bird's eye view. He flips another page and you can see 
the wall where it says approx 30 feet crenellations and you can see little measurements that give um, you know the ratios of the height of the walls. Um, he sketches out the doors. He sketches out a lot of features of the castle. He sketches Holy like a it's an old school TSR map. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, it's <laughs> impressive. Okay. Wow. Well, while he is doing that, which I'm assuming is going to take some time. Yeah. I would like to examine this chest, which my wand from Elimus has informed me is probably trapped. Be okay. careful. Yeah. Um, since I know that it is trapped, may I use my thieves' tools to disarm the trap? You may try, yes. Just while he pulls out his tools and whoosh, blows on his fingers and begins to fiddle with the chest. Ooh. Rolling a 13. Hey. Um, you kind of slide your blade along the latch, you investigate the actual keyhole itself, you don't find anything resembling a trap. Hmm. Could this be a magic trap? What does Wand of Secrets do again? Um... It could be. But it might be a secret compartment inside the chest. Or, or a trap. Interesting. Does the chest appear to be bolted to the floor in any way? No. How big is the chest? It is a sort of normal three foot wide by two foot high trunk. All right, so this is either Can a secret. I put secret? the chest on my chest. <laughs> this is either a secret or it is a trap. Um, I, the one has said that it is one or the other. I cannot determine that it is trapped. Should we just leave it? I'm gonna... Or should we carefully open it? I'm gonna kneel down I mean, beside Alimus it and investigate it. Akantha, what, what did you say? I have an idea! What's up? I Touch can wild shape into a snake and then crawl in and see what's inside. And then what if it blows up and kills you? I suppose well, I'm a snake. Why would it blow up and kill me if I'm a snake? If it's a trap, it would kill you, no matter what creature you are. Can you change into a horse? Why would a Can you change into a giant elk? If I wanted to, but I don't want to. I want to turn into a snake. No, I understand, but I just was curious. Okay. <laughs> that'll get piggyback hats. If you really want to try, I... Sure. I'm gonna do it! Oh. I want to know what Stepping back out the room. Yep. This is Waldo is outside I, the, the room. Good luck. Yeah. I very um, gently scoot Sivor as he's detailing things to the farthest <laughs> side of the room. Still sketching away, like yeah. No, I, I basically just keep on the far side from the uh, <laughs> from the chest. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I was watching all the drawing, and now I am getting out of that room. Yeah. I'll lean to Claire. Let's hope it's not a mimic. All right. You see oh, people so backing away Akantha from the chest, and they leave you to investigate your way. So I'm going to wild shape into a snake, and then I'm going to crawl in through the gap. Bye. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry, what? What's drop lowest. Just, just, just keep drawing. It's fine. What? Yeah. It's just it, head down. Nice. Just, I... <laughs> 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 oh my god. You see your hand <laughs> puppets for the wind. You turn into a snake. You curl down, sort of just flipping the top of the lid with your nose. Nothing happens. You go inside and you, as you slither around, you feel. Well, make a. Let's see. <laughs> make a perception check. I want to know if in your wildest dreams snake. you ever imagined this happening. <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody want to help me out with that because I don't have any arms? Um, <laughs> we can't understand you. <laughs> you're, spe you're only speaking snake right now, so you're yeah. hissing and stuff. You can't I speak, speak as a... You, you can sit back at the table, Chelsea, you're alright. We, we know you're a snake. <laughs> <laughs> You know I take this seriously. I want to. I want you to turn it into a horse now. <laughs> yeah. 
just I explode, mean, just explode the chest everywhere. <laughs> I might have one of those huge horse masks. You don't know. <gasps> True. Lobster? You can turn into a lobster. I All right. <laughs> Perception check for you. As a snake. As the snake form as well. Amazing. Oh, da, da, go back to my skills. I need to make a perception check. I mean, how long does it take to search a chest as a snake? She's pretty small. She's probably dead. I think, it's, yeah, definitely dead. I think it's kind of hit or hiss. You can stop. <laughs> you, you shut up. <laughs> Okay. All right. If she's dead. Can I skin her? Hey. hey. Did it go? Did it go? Did it go? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, nice. My oh. God. Oh. So as you're slithering around, shifting your weight, you feel what's underneath you sort of give. You're kind of slithering in and out of dusty old scrolls, rolled up paper and whatnot. And they're kind of crumbling um, under and around your snake body. And then you feel it shift. You reach your head up around and you see that there's a false bottom on this chest that sort of tilts away, revealing underneath a rich leather bound tome. That arm is mm. And that's it. Okay. I'm is it green? I uh, I knock on I, I go over and knock on the top of the chest. You doing all right in there? Can you can you sort of make a sign that you're with us. <laughs> Snakes don't make any noise, huh? Snake <laughs> noise. Just like bop your head <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> Hit your head once, if okay. Hit your head twice, yeah. if not okay. A concussion. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good time. Um, your tail, man. <laughs> what so yes, yes, that is no. that is what you have found, and you are. Uh, completely safe. So I'm going to, if I don't see any traps or anything in here, then I will slither back out and then poof. You okay? Oh, Adder girl. There's a leather bound book in there. Fuck you. <laughs> so that was a secret that was a... All right, just while though, just pop it open. Yes, ma'am. A, a book and you I, say. I lift the lid with the, uh, toe of my boot um okay uh you see uh some crumpled papers old maps and whatnot and slightly askew is a false bottom and a beautiful uh beautiful book i'll reach in and pick it up take a peek after you sorry <laughs> do you want to grab it <laughs> no i hate the books this one's Don't not green it. so you can't have no, it. no the green was the good one <laughs> Careful. It is, uh, this one is sort of an auburn, uh, sort of rich reddish brown leather, um, which still feels supple in your hands. The pages feel like thick vellum. Um, it is very high quality. Show me. And it Show has me. withstood the test of time in very stark contrast to all the other mm. crumpling papers around it. Okay, keep your panties on, Alimus. All right. Um, I just want to take a quick peek. Does it sort of look like a spell book? Or is um, it something else? Uh, no, there are words that you can read inside. Oh! Like my word. Start and end. <laughs> Not stupid. Page one. <laughs> um, it is. Uh, who's. Is someone flipping through it to look? Yeah. Okay, make an investigation check quick. <laughs> Please, okay. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to look at it? <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I rolled a four. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like it looks like a maybe a history book, or it's it's very um, it's like talking about breathing, um, you know, calmness and looking at uh, looking at someone's eyes as they talk. That's like what I want. This is dumb. Yep, this is beyond me. <laughs> Here you go. I Hand it over. over to if I find a picture book, I'll let you know. Soul. Yeah. I will, um, uh, I, can we take a peek also at what else was in the chest while he's booking? You may. Um, so, but just so you know, you'll you'll look through 
the, the most of them will crumple their old maps, mm. um, old sketches. Some of them sort of match the castle with certain parts crossed out. Um, they're pretty much useless. Okay. I'm almost afraid to ask, but are you still a snake? No, and she she popped back to normal. Hey, we throw in another yeah. pun. Yeah. <laughs> um, he just had to get that in there. Clearly, this book's magical. Yes. Uh, you would think so, with, with based on stop, the simple stop. fact that it is not decayed. Yeah. I uh, thank Akantha for her astute work. I just look. Known you for we've known you for less than thirty minutes, and you've already been incredibly useful. Oh, yes, thank you. You have. Um, while let me check what this is. While Civil here is mapping out his thing, and he will open his spell book. Um, reach into his pocket, pull out a pearl, and, um, and literally sort of uh, start chanting. Start chanting, and he speaks the words: okay. "Identitatum est ignotum." Ooh, very cool! <laughs> and then keeps pronouncing that over and over again. He's identifying it. So you know, you are the second druid I've ever met in my life. Oh, well, how was the first one? Was it my grandma? But my grandma has been around a long time, so I don't know if it would have been my grandma. I don't think it was your grandmother. It was your grandmother a giant lizard? <laughs> I think sometimes if she wants to be, if she's really, really mad. No, I mean, like, in her normal mad. form, is she, like, is she most happy as a giant lizard? No. Not your grandma, then. Right. <sighs> Finished. We might run into him. Uh, he's actually here in Barovia. Um, Which is where you are now, Barovia. Yes, uh, this is Barovia. And that, uh, as Cyborg has just uh, meticulously detailed, it's really freaking impressive, um, is you. Castle Ravenloft. And while uh, Sila, uh, uh, not Alimus. Come on, Alimus. Why? Too many names. While Elimus is doing that, um, would it be possible for us to uh, fill in Cyvor and Akanta with uh, at least a portion of the story so far, so that they are aware of maybe some of the major threats? Of course. Um, so, uh, some of the major things that they would relay to you guys, um, you guys can also, if there are more important details you want to say to you, one of the main features is they will tell you that now that you are in Barovia, your soul is trapped here as far as you know. Um, you can die, but people in Barovia who die, their souls do not go to the afterlife. They sort of linger and um, fester in a way until they are potentially reborn. No one can leave Barovia once they come here. Um, yeah. you That's one of the major features to know, is that you are trapped. Uh, besides that, I guess they would, you know, know that the, uh, like I, described in the intro that the lord of this realm is a vampire lord named uh, Strahd von Sarovich and he's a nice guy so uh, uh depends so, on who you talk to <laughs> so Peter does anyone outside of Barovia know of Strahd or I can go ahead and make a history check okay Wasn't sure if because he has his own realm, he's sort of a big deal. Come on, well, six. It's a oh, big eleven. Deal. Eleven. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not a name that you recognize. Yeah. Okay. So, how do you know uh, von Richten? Oh, the professor. Uh, he, well, he's he's a famous monster hunter. Well, is he? Yeah. You, you don't know of the professor? No, oh, no, we know him. We know him. Oh, I mean, well, if just... you were to ask me if anybody around here is good at hunting monsters, it's the group that you're with. I haven't seen him lift a single finger, but uh, that's oh. just me. Oh, no, oh, no. I mean, you guys taken on, was it four flaming skulls? At least. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> at least four flaming skulls. That's impressive. Like, <laughs> I We mean... know Von Richten in a, in a personal sense. Uh, we've spent some time with him. Um, one of the towns here, and he's assisted us um, oh. with several matters. We've actually um, met him. Yes. Oh, he's great. actually the one who told us that this was a good place to look for, well, what we're looking for. Yeah. Am I oh, right uh, about which, that? Which uh, is... 
Okay. Well, you, he <laughs> he helped point the direction this yeah. way. He um, I asked you, him. About you told it. him the what you were the got you know, it right in a pile of treasure beyond amber doors, and he said, "Well, that's yeah. probably one particular place." So, what what are we looking for exactly? A sword. Um. A weapon that we can use against Strahd. That's so cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. And other sure. powers, yeah. especially of the arcane nature, which our friend Alimus here is um, always a little bit extra interested in. What have you found there, Alimus? And at about that time, your spell will go off. Alimus, you are taken aback for a moment. Um, this book is enormously powerful um it is a collection of thought exercises guidelines for meditation um uh, instructions on how to it, have well, conversations how to look at the environment around you to become more perceptive and such oh oh is it what i this think it is. is known it's it's probably not exactly what you want unfortunately but no, it no, no, is no. a tome of understanding so it's wisdom isn't it yes yeah. intense study of this book would increase your wisdom score and your maximum wisdom score by two in a D, &D set in a D, &D game ever <clears throat> I, look, well. I look up and i explain this is a a powerful book would benefit well. Maurice immensely. Mm. Maybe it would definitely help her. Well, we'll yours is not wisdom base, is it? Mine. Yeah. No. no. I'm charisma. This must go to Maurice without fail. All right. No, I'll, I'll stick it in the pack for her. I'll hand over. Reluctantly. The wisdom base book. Alimus will hand it over reluctantly. It is yes. It's fantastic. Well, enough about the books. If, if Let's see what's behind this door. If we'd have known Civil a lot longer, then I would have probably just given it to Civil. Hmm? So? I will listen at the double door at the end of the hall. All right. If someone wants to help me, I'm really I'm not good at this. I'm right there. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. No, I and I think this room is probably as empty as the rest. What do you think, Claire? Who fucking knows? <laughs> All right, I open the door. Alimus will walk okay. past um, Akantra, uh, place his hand on her head and say, Good fine, little one. Thank you. You will reveal a splendid little room uh. here. <laughs> Torches and sconces here, illuminated dining table in the center of the room. Covering the table is a magnificent feast that fills the hall with rich smells of cooked meat, sweet vegetables, piping hot gravy, and wine. <laughs> I gotta say, the last time I, I actually several days ago in a game walked into a, uh, a room with a table setting like this, the table and silverware attacked me, so... I'm like, as a player, having like heart palpitations. <laughs> yeah, no. It's like anytime you walk into a room that's not a tavern and it's set up like this, it's like, you know, <laughs> we're all going to die. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly, this can't possibly. It's not real. No, I, and I wouldn't touch. I'll take any a step of it. inside. Okay. That's, man, that's some good looking food. That looks nice. I don't trust a goddamn thing in here. Anything. Sean, anything else uh, like on the walls of the room or? Anything? Sean is not the DM of this I'm game. So sorry. Uh, <laughs> Peter, just just refer to us as baby. That that, that takes care of it all. Yikes! Go ahead and make a perception check. Lord no. in heaven. All right. So perception check. Boom. A Seventeen. Yes. We've um, got two people around, with perception. Yeah. Yes, it, oh, fantastic. <laughs> it looks mostly like um, just uh, uh, yeah, just normal torches, the five of them there. Um, 
table set normally. Nope. There's nothing else interesting besides this banquet that's set in the room. No Pan's Labyrinth uh, murals on the wall of people no, being no, slowly they're, eaten they're, by the things. walls yeah. are bare, um, solid marble. I mean, it can't be real. Of course, it's not real. Well, shouldn't that be enough? Shouldn't we be able to look at this and say it's not real, and then I realize reach out it's with not my real? sword and poke at something on the table. Um. So, what do you poke at? There's like glasses. There's some food. The table Is itself. Is there like a loaf of bread? There's shit? a loaf of bread. Yes. Yeah, I'll just sort of poke gingerly at the the loaf of bread. Well, the sword passes through it. Yeah, definitely not real. Could be magical of some well, sort. We should probably steer clear What was clear the point? Of it. So how do we? In astonishment. How do we break the spell? <laughs> a magical effect that could fuck us, and not in a good way. So, unless you want to stick around and figure it out, we should probably move on. Why is it I mean, here? What's it hiding? Bad food. <laughs> I like your thoughts. Well, no, wait a minute. Poke something else. I'll try to just ting a glass. Okay. Sword passes through it. Can you describe everything on the table? Uh, sure. Yeah, so um, a couple different plates of roasted meats. Um, each... Uh, space actually has its own individual place setting including like a, a goblet for wine uh, another one for what appears to be perhaps water um there are um uh, uh, there's like a gravy dish there are a couple uh, baskets of bread plates of fresh fruits um what appears to be like a and uh, like a ewer of um with uh, some carvings on it that seems to contain some wine is, is there anything um, amber on the table? Um, nope. There is not. Enough of this. Any designs on the plates or on any of the cutlery? Yeah, so the um, the pitcher, the, the ewer, has like um, images of dancing animals on it. You see like a bear and an elk on, on that. Is in. the table um, real? plunk it is all right table's real how about a chair fake so the table's the only real thing here well, did you yeah. that i've just walter takes out one of his darts and just starts throwing them at the various things on the table like one at the meats did we check the cups you did yeah it went through so you repeatedly do this, you hear a ding off of the ewer. The what? Ewer? The ewer? pitcher. It's a oh. E-W-E-R is how okay. you spell it. Did you all hear that? Well, that's real. Yeah. Why is it? Alimus will start drawing three runes into the air and speak the words Magicia, Lucius, Alu, Sidica, and dispel magic. All right, I will need a caster level roll against wow, this. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. I've got so to remember to hold that button plus down. Your intelligence an echo. modifier. It's a major image? It's something. Oh. The big boy spells. Oh, oh shit. It's a foul, I'm guessing. Yeah, thir uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, the magic is more powerful than you imagine. And uh, it does not fall beneath your dispel magic. Hmm. Well, so this is all here to protect that you are. I don't know why I said you are. I've never said that before in my life. <laughs> Should we just pass by? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I know what you want something. to do, Claire. I don't. What? 
Excuse me. Oh, we're going to go in the windmill. I looked to Claire and to Jos Jaswaldo and I say, I smacked Jaswaldo on the bum with the flat of my sword. <laughs> Look at the powerful items we have found here so far. There is more here. I Oh, I believe you. I just don't know if it's worth trying to... I don't know if someone wants to just drink from that. Can't we identify it? I could, that... but I need more time. If time... See, well, why don't we just take it with us in the meantime and then try to identify it later? Picking it up could trigger something. Exactly. Well, let's knock it off the table first. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> but before you Someone knock it off the table, to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before you like knock it off the table, someone just gave it... us um, some, uh, some, uh, uh, yeah. This is... What the fuck are they called? Yes. Oh, uh, more bits. <laughs> this Ugluck, Ugluck wants us to do something, <laughs> so we all need to roll yeah. a d twenty. <laughs> oh, well, all right, I can't. I've already got it. The ones that right. don't have it need to roll a d twenty. Come on. All right. Oh, oh my god. Elena. Ah. Uh... Here she is. Oh, I'm getting worse. All right. I got it. Not okay. a six. Thank you very I, much. I, I will. will not a six. You're right. I will humor. Ugh, luck. Uh, <laughs> With a pithy Goodbye. joke. No. <laughs> um, and uh, I will first gently poke the pitcher with my sword. The Thank ewer. And <laughs> just makes a little clinking sound off the copper. Okay. I will reach out and pick up the ewer. You do, and as you lift it from the table, the feast fades. There is just a blank wooden table, no chairs or anything. The smell, everything is gone. And from where the chairs were, you see it looks like figures were crouched, hunched over, and each of them rise up. You see what eight the of them fuck? rise up. <laughs> All of their eyes turn to you, ignoring everyone else in the room. Oh, shit. And you see these skeletal, <laughs> greenish, um, translucent beings making their way towards you, Claire. Guys, I'm so You fun. did this, ugly luck. DM, can, can, we, we, can we see them too, or is it just You can. Claire? Everyone okay. everyone can see them. And oh, uh, we're going to set up for some combat, but first we're going to go on a break. Oh, what a oh break. man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Poor ugly luck right at break time. Oh, oh, I oh. know. We'll, we'll roll initiative and get right into it. Had there. a lot of D&D today. DM needs a bio break. So. <laughs> Bad. So you've got to boof. Can you start it again? <laughs> Why, are you going to record it? I'm gonna turn this on. There's no. Oh, I sing no, it. We're not. People no. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're not live. We are. Maybe, live. maybe if somebody, if somebody, I don't know, donate some bits. Maybe they'll get a, a preview. Wait, we're live. We are live. Yeah. We're back. I was, try, oh, I was trying to catch. <laughs> I was trying to catch Sean and Teresa off guard. I know this is no, like no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's special. That's, I saw. I saw that. That's our four fans eye, that's only. Like... <laughs> that's our four fans only content. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back. Sean, let's go. All right, Peter, let's go. <laughs> I was like, that's Ryan. the DM, right? Just Ryan's fault. Say DM. It's <laughs> just vamp here for a bit. All right, I got the turn tracker up. We'll. Uh... Oh <laughs> Bunch of Save me, guys. We are. And then. Um... <laughs> Battle music, All battle right. music. God, I've been rolling like crrrr <laughs> oh, yeah. tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, so battle music. Oh, yeah, so just battle uh, let's yell about what we need after jumping in. Just kidding. Everything's good. Battle Ooh, music. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Just looping. Yeah, that's that's all it is. Just whoop, 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 whoop. I don't Every like that. Every time you get smart, another enemy comes. No. Just kidding. <laughs> well, then we're going to be fine. I'm I'm smart. Me. Nobody's smart in this game. <laughs> <laughs> a good point. As evidenced by my just most recent action. And I've got the Casimir to roll. And Ugh, look, this is for you. Is everyone on yet? Let's Acantha see. rolled a five, but it's not showing up in the tracker. All right. Mm -hmm. She just did right a d20. On. Gotcha. Uh, do you have a dex mod, Acantha? We have a bonus here to no, Chelsea, yeah, to get that working in the future, to click on your token and then D&D Beyond, click on your initiative. So token first and then initiative in D&D Beyond. There we go. Okay. 
I always forget in token app. Thank you very Ooh. much for the sub isometric. Thank you very much. Cool. All right. Um, I think we've got. Do we have the whole, the whole dang crew up? I think we. The do. whole ding dang crew. All right, Athelflaed. It's your go. Oh, I don't want to be first. Um. Okay. I guess I will do. Let's just start with something totally fun and not at all predictable. I've never done this before. Um, let's do Hail of Thorns, and I have no good spell slots left, so. Sorry, these aren't actually on a square. Okay. okay. So I believe that's part of a attack, correct? That is a bonus action coming up with this attack. And then I'm going to fire two crossbows. Mm. Two crossbows. I don't even have that. Um, <laughs> Literally, two crossbows just coming. Out. Yeah, surprise. Uh, my my bow fires crossbows. <laughs> Both of all, <laughs> these, these squares are all ten feet each, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Right. So those guys are five feet. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing a. The ruler is correct. Doing my bow there. And that one. <laughs> all right. Make that your one attack. with the one next to it getting damage from the hail of thorns. Uh huh. Uh huh. My Remind me, do you need to hit, or does it work regardless of hit or miss? That's a good thing. Let me remind myself. Uh, hit. Okay. Well, you do hit. So, oh, there we go. Yeah. That's my two. So I uh... and each creature within five feet. Cool. So this one takes five damage plus your. Um, Plus your 10 from Hail of Thorns, which was your first roll, I believe. I didn't do da, 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 the... Tar and so we'll yes. dexterity saving throws first. Okay. Boom. Boom. Um, what's your DC 14? One will... S the, the secondary target will save. So... Okay. We'll do this. That will take some damage. And the next one will take a little bit less damage from it. Cool. So this was a second level spell because <laughs> I ran out of first level spells. So okay. So you did the extra. The extra, the extra damage. damage was factored in there. Okay. That's why it was one plus nine. Yeah. Two d ten. Okay. Anything else for you? Nope. All right. You let's got a hundred mark. This... I already did a bonus, bonus action for the hail. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, let's see what uh, Mister Cyborg can do. All right. So. Like these things appear and Cyborg's just like, okay, okay, training. I got this. Training. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And then he's going to go ahead and move over to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and he starts off with, uh, he's going to go ahead and hit with his whip. There's a way. Gets cracking. 16. Will hit. Lovely, and that'll be four magical damage. It's magical. I was just about to give a descriptor about how it didn't seem very effective. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, so that 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 cracks and hits, and that's yeah. Owie, and then he goes ahead and like does a little spin move and attacks with his short sword, which on an eighteen also hits. Hits, and that's five magical. Cool. And then he's going to go ahead and you see him sort of flex. And then as so he goes like boom, crack. And then you suddenly see him do like a wicked spin kick and try to land two shots on its head. So he hits for one. And goes for two. Monks, man. They just get 500 attacks. Oh, yeah, baby. So 19 and 10. I bet you the 10's not going to hit. 10's not going to quite do it. It will just <laughs> kind of fade out of the way. All right, all right. But it'll take that extra five damage uh -huh. uh, from the unarmed strike, which is magical. Very so. nice. <clears throat> you see this one flickering, fading in and out. It seems to be um, rather uh, rather damaged. Awesome. And then he's, and then he's like... <sighs> 
Hey, I'm not dead. <laughs> You're doing okay. The, the um, <laughs> specter looks at you, but then seems to turn away and ignore oh. you. Um, you can oh, make an attack of opportunity as this one moves away. I will happily do that. So he goes and takes the takes the whip and goes, oh, no, you don't. You're quite quiet, Ryan. Yeah. 21 to hit and yes. four more magic. Four more magic. All right. They will all close in around Claire. Fuck. <laughs> oh, holy hell. Athelflaed, you can also make a um, <clears throat> attack of opportunity. Roll low, one. Peter. <laughs> um, Kill that one. <laughs> I, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall. Um, watch out. Or, or, you know, just do you, whatever. <laughs> just do you. <laughs> just follow your heart. Can That's you nice. attack of opportunity with a bow? No, oh, you can't. That's my fault. Son I of called a... for one, so yep, you don't have a melee weapon out. Thank you. Yeah. Like All right. All right. I've got a dodge. bunch of attacks coming at you, Claire. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Um, first one's gonna be a twenty-two. Yep. For ten necrotic damage, I need a Constitution save. Oh. Okay. Here we go, guys. Don't like these. Oh, Twenty-one. Good night. You are fine. Yeah, so that was. T- Hold on. I need to- so ten, 10 from the first? Yep. Okay. This is going to be fine and casual. Then I have another one coming in. How's 16 do? No hit. All right. <laughs> I have an 11. Natural one. Oh my god. Um, I have a 17. Nope. I have a 20. That one does. And a 21. That will also hit. So two more constitution saves? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. The fuck? But bef- before you roll that, before you roll that. Oh. We've just been gifted 300 bits by an, an anonymous cheerer. Oh. So everyone rolled a d20. <laughs> uh, anyone can get oh, this. Beautiful. This is a anyone. d6 inspiration. So oh, the reason why okay. I put in there is in case you might, you might need it. Um, somehow... For God's sake, I never get anything. So I, I rolled my second um, constitution <laughs> save, Peter, and it rolled nope. in D&D Beyond instead of roll 20, just That's FYI. Weird. Um, Mine was doing that. It was uh, 19, 11 plus 8. Sure it was. Okay. Like, just, I will take a picture if you want. Oh, Chelsea, good on the first one, roll the second one. Okay. Thank you very much, Anonymous Chira. Chelsea, you got, also got a D6 inspiration as well. You can add wow. that anytime through the end of the session. You can add a d6 to one of your rolls. 14. You can do it after you roll, but before you know the outcome. Oh, what's the the roll? T- the t- d21 is different, right? Yeah, that's like just advantage. You have to if it's a big roll coming up, you need to right. you say that you're going to use it. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me check something really quick. Um, where is that? Thing. I'm looking for my goddamn aura. <laughs> oh yeah, because oh wait, did it already factor in? I mean, this benefits others, right? It benefits others and it benefits me. A plus four to saving throws, which oh nice. I can't. I don't know if that's already in my character sheet or not. It probably is. Yeah, I think it is. Um, okay, so uh, fourteen. Well, judging by the plus eight to con saves, I'd say yeah. probably. Um. They're all successes, your saving throws. Um, so you take 7 and then 12 necrotic damage. Okay, so 10, 7, and 12 for a total of 29 damage. Yep, they seem to be obsessively just attacking you. Delightful. Rude. Elimus, Gis- Gis- or sorry, Jeswaldo. Jeswaldo will step forward. How does this fellow look? Um, The ones that have taken damage are this one and... Uh, this one and this one. This that the one in that uh Cyvora was attacking seems to be the most damaged. Alright, well I can't get at that one. Uh just while will step forward and lunge with his rapier. Hitting AC thirteen. Thirteen will do it. Mm, that is twenty 
eight points of piercing damage. Nice. Wowzers! You will step forward and do that. This one will. I will step forward again. May I interact with object? Uh, to to do what? To uh, I want to rip the ewer out of Claire's hand. If she allows you to, um, you can do it as an interact object. Yes. All right. I I'll will take him. it. I will bonus action disengage, and I will run. So that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Thirty. Uh, Twenty-five. Thirty, and then I will run again. No. Nope. That's it. I can run to there. Cool. Limus. Limus. You now see the specters all sort of focus their attention towards just Waldo, looking past Claire. He will For calmly. the record, I'd be dead without a canthus healing, so, or I'd be down without a canthus healing, so. Um, I've got a jar of dirt! <laughs> uh, he'll calmly walk to there, turn, face Claire, and look uh, directly in the eyes. Run! And he will hold his action, and he will slam his staff down, and the power starts thrumming around it, and he tells you to get the hell out of the way. Cool. Um. Oh. Um. Casimir. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Seriously, he goes in there like a fucking idiot. Well. <laughs> oh, I, I'm well, going to kill him. Then. It doesn't it's matter. A, it's further than what I meant to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, like, I didn't realize I had left him all the way back here. That was my bad on the NPC thing. He wouldn't have been all the way down this hallway. Um, does he, does he, like, he is going to go, go around the corner and he will um, um, whisper some words and place a hand on your back and you will turn invisible. Does he then move? Yes. Hot damn. He does. Incurring an opportunity attack. Oof, that will hit him, unfortunately. He will will do that later. Claire. Okay. Um, just got to check something real quick. Delightful. Okay. I will... Um, so this was the one here that got hella damaged by Cyborg, right? Um, the one to... Yes, this okay. one here. Um, and everyone else is dandy. If you right? if you attack, you're losing visibility. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Unless they have some special type of sight, too. You just it's a common knowledge rule. You okay. have to be able to see an opponent to make an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay, great. Um, in that case, I will move behind Alimus and I can hold an action after moving? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will hold an action to attack the next enemy that comes in range. Okay. Um, I believe was your trigger the um, having a uh, clear shot with no allies, Alimus? Yeah, if I can feel her walk past me. Uh, uh, yes. I'll, t I'll tap him on the shoulder as I walk by. Okay. He will then, um, obviously the power surging through this ice crystal staff. And then, uh, and we'll speak the words. Meta, regarda, mors in omnes. And a cone so of cold cool. will come out. Ooh. Um, cone oh, yeah. of cold. It's massive. Uh, so I am going to obviously not aim it towards. <clears throat> like that. Okay. Con saves? It's a con oh, save, oh. correct. DC 16. What's your... Okay. That's a real bad roll. Two of them. Two of them made it. Three of them made it. But one, it's not going to matter. The one in front of Cyvor will die. 
A creature killed um, by the spell becomes frozen statue. Back. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, the this one twenty four. You say? Oh. You will yeah, notice that they are a little resistant to this cold damage. They're not immune. This one minus. Yeah, that was a uh, that was fireball damage right there, not Kona cold damage. Yeah, it's a really bad roll that was. And this one failed. Oh, that's resistant. <clears throat> They're all looking. Uh, so one you see freezes into this kind of hollow icicle-like statue. There's no physical body, so um, it doesn't necessarily freeze completely into a statue. It's interesting. I got no body. Sorry. Um, so now, all the way down to Miss Akanta. Which I assume is what she actually says. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She really would. She would totally say that. Just looking over my beautiful spell list here. I'm trying not to get too complicated because World 20 hates me. I am going to use. I am going to use my Conjure Woodland Beings. Not too complicated. Just so. yeah, just a bunch of things for the DM to handle. <laughs> what are you summoning? Okay, that's what I was looking up was the list to see what I can conjure. I want to summon four creatures with a challenge rating of a half or lower. And I don't know what the list is, so I don't know what to choose. Hmm. We've got a bunch of things. Um, what's really rating half. What's really obnoxious? Um, I mean, you could summon a bunch of apes. You could summon some crocodiles. Book beaks. Here you go. Sharks. That'd be good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sharknado. Because I have like gust of wind or something. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Okay. You summon four sharks. Yes. Oh, they can't uh, breathe. <laughs> That's uh, funny. Okay, come on, don't, 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 don't. I, I, I it was. Are you actually gonna uh, summon sharks? Summon sharks? No. Okay. No, because there's no way that could actually work. That would be um, ill-advised. I kind of wanted it to happen. That's fine. Um, I would well, suggest I have... maybe giant wasps, even though those are kind of evil but you know murder wasps yeah i will i'll tell you what no, i will you. summon the sharks if you let me use my gust of wind to turn it into shark nato that's a little and i'm willing to use my inspiration for that <laughs> that i got earlier from the d20 it's a little um i mean we could kind of flavor it as a sharks with some wind happening but uh, as far as action economy goes that's gonna be a little tough to pull off <laughs> i hate to say no but um but no but no, but no. we can't quite do that <laughs> okay fine if we're gonna have to be boring then let's choose shark go. let's choose some giant apes giant ape or just apes yeah. but yeah they're pretty just good so all right. Oh, there's a bunch of eight. Uh, there are four apes. We will um, draw a little shape here. Ape. 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 <laughs> Make ape, ape and nardo happen. Wow, those are so anatomically bits. correct. <laughs> <laughs> the only fakey one. Uh, um, can they can they attack on the first turn you summon them? While we're figuring that out, everyone's got to roll with D twenty again for another D six oh, inspiration. Is so much, I need it. If you've got one already, you can't roll it. 
I used it on Elena. Oh, you used it on Elena? Oh, you care? Oh. Mm hmm. I rolled an eight again. That's not what I'm supposed to roll. <clears throat> That's not what I'm supposed to roll. There we go. How many creatures can I Oh, a five. I rolled a 16. Oh, that's tied with the DM. Oh, no, you rolled a five. Oh, oh okay, yeah. That roll was off. I rolled a D6. You got to roll again. Are we rolling again? Okay. Roll off. Roll off between the DM. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, DM uh, gets it. Yeah, well DM done, Uglug. Hey, these are uh, uh, these are D twenty rolls I could have used against you guys. Those, no, those, this uh, is a D six pluses. Would have. This is for a D six. Okay, but I mean, like, I'm burning my high D twenty rolls here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, let me check on some conjure woodland beings here. They do have Can to we... roll their initiative. This is some real shenanigans we're getting up yeah, to. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, <laughs> all right. I really wanted that shark meter to happen. And exactly zero oh, no! since oh, we no! So we're going to add a turn for the, this thing. Is that, can I do that? <laughs> oh, we're going to add, add turn oh. for the secret door, which is going to be the apes. Fuck. And they're going to roll some initiative. Peter, your D6 has now turned into a D20. Hey yo! And the rest of us have now got to roll another d20. Thank you very much, Ugly like and Snake Spinner. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Man. If you've got a this d20 is... already, you can't go. What is the issue with my rolls? Seriously? <laughs> I love it. Ah! <clears throat> <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh. oh, come on! I roll a natural twenty. Oh no! Oh my God! <laughs> shut up! Don't you already have one? No, I used it. I used it on you. No, did wasn't the last was one that you one. just? I thought it was. Oh. You just, he just bumped oh, it up. Okay. Yeah, I can't get it. Yeah, I not for it. you. Okay. You can't have oh, multiple. Oh, and Teresa gets it. Well done, Teresa. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Yay! This Apes is, will act on initiative ridiculous. sixteen. What is happening? All right, Apple Flag. He can have nothing. He denied Sharknado. He gets nothing. That's. <gasps> You guys Sharknado does not happen in Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> Anything happens in Barovia. It just has to be nightmarish enough, right? What's more nightmarish than a spinning, whirling death tube of sharks? Wait, are, are her summons like normal apes or are they creepy like my horse? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Antha, you um, summon um, what look to be like normal sort of large primates, think, you know, gorillas or um, large, very large chimpanzees. Their heads are completely shaved of any skin. And it looks like they are bare skulls, but from what you can tell, some of them have eyeballs in that are sort of loose and like looking the wrong way. The, the best and some of them have like they have their teeth clenched but there's a bit of like flesh hanging out from what you can tell it looks like these apes have spent the last well day or so trying to scrounge for pieces of face to repair their own faces and have just shoved, shoved pieces of flesh into their skeleton and so you see this blood cascading down as they <laughs> move about. Um, bits of yeah. bits of um, gore and stuff flit about the room, and they slam their fists on the ground, ready to attack at your command. A horrific squad that you have summoned into the realm. <laughs> I'm oh so God. sorry, I can't. Th <laughs> so it sounds like these are gorillas. <laughs> Get, out. Hey. Get out! Get out! Flad, you're up. Can I have them attack Cyborg? Uh, they rolled a mission. Oh. Attack what? Oh, cyborg. Yeah. For his terrible puns. In, in retaliation for his puns. <laughs> the price of bad puns is we'll see. fire. All right. Ethel Flad, you're up. Oh, God. <laughs> well, now that I'm surrounded by nightmarish hell apes that are not in a NATO. Does that one, is that one that had been damaged before? 
Uh, all of them have been quite damaged by um, oh, the, by the cone. Silas's cone. Uh, sorry, Elimus's. I did it too. I've never <laughs> done that before. We're having a rough time. Uh, I guess then I will just save my last spell slots and just go for this guy twice. Save my spell slots. Oh, how much about? Oh, boom! Shot. <laughs> oh yeah, nice pair of shots. Oh, which ones are you shooting? Again? It was gonna. That first I one. I'd, I wish I'd pick both. <laughs> has four hit points, so he will go, wish, whoosh out of existence as your arrow passes through. Um, and the second shot, you can put choose your target. This I'll one. I'll just go right behind him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just sequential. A nice bit of damage dealt there, though. Slightly resisted because of the non-magical weapon. Anything else from you? Nope. Cyborg. Lovely. All right, so Cyborg is going to go ahead and whip crack that first... Uh, that wraith creature, ghosty thing. I should, should check my notes before I got into the fight. Uh, so with a 16. Hits. And a 5 damage magical mm -hmm. on that. And if it's still standing, he's going to go ahead and close distance on those two. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go away from the murder apes. Just because they look a little icky. They do. Yeah. <laughs> a little. You are just correct. A, just, a, just mildly icky. Uh, and then he's going to go ahead and use his short sword on that same one. And that'll be... Thank you. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately. the 11 will not. Um... Ah, abominations. All right. All right. And then he's going to go ahead and use uh, his unarmed attack to then... <laughs> it's like the short sword just misses it. He then just like puts his boot out and sees if he can... like. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. Well, with a seven, it definitely won't hit. Man, good damage. Crappy rolls. C'est la vie. Oh, uh, well. And at that point, he is going to go ahead and... Let's see, that was what? 10, 15. And these things are, like, they're not even focused on me, are they? They're not, but... but you saw it did take attack of opportunity against some other people. So. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, burn a point to disengage. Ah. And move my... Monk's thing. Monk stuff. Monk. Monkey business. All right. So uh, I'll be 10. So that was what? 10. It's 20. 30. And then... Uh, yeah, there I am. So get 35. Get up to <laughs> just Waldo, who's still running. He's just like... Why are we running? So, that'll be my turn. Okay, I think you might have just gone a little, little far here. Um, I have a forty-five movement. Wow, nice. All right, you're set. Monkey business. I know, right? All right, the gorillas. There's no better name. <laughs> yes. <for them>. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, I'm Start done, swinging guys. their fists. <laughs> Oh, one of us hits this one twice. You will see <laughs> this specter gets punched to death. <laughs> oh, God, I'm the only one in the room actually witnessing all of this, aren't I? This specter. I'm sure we can see through the door. Gets like punched Odin. a little, but you see the um, fists passing through are not dealing particularly high damage to it. Um, something about its undead incorporeal nature that resists these physical attacks. This one will attack twice, hit once for a bit of damage, leaving this the specter furthest on the right looking almost dead. And his friend will attack and crit, which will deal a nice 12 damage and will <laughs> destroy that specter. Specters will go 
Um, just Waldo, you have the Ewer, right? I do. All right. How do, how can I move here? Oh, I can move so far. Um, this one will receive an attack of opportunity when it moves first. Man, this is fun. Eight will miss. Um, Elimus, you can, do you have a melee weapon? <laughs> do you want to try and hit it with your staff? Yeah. Uh, but first, <laughs> but first Claire will also get an attack, of, uh, can use her reaction to attack yeah. as you were holding that action, I believe. That's a held action, not a reaction, correct? It uses your reaction to- Oh, misunderstood that. Okay, totally fine. Um, all right, so I will take a single slice with my long sword and cast Booming Blade through it. Fifteen. Um, to hit? Y- yes, that will okay. hit. So uh, twelve magical slashing damage plus um, do, 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 uh, four thunder damage. And if it continues to move, it takes an additional three. It will not. It will die. Okay. Delightful. <laughs> That's um, right. Come on. Come on. Come on through the gauntlet. <laughs> Yeah, they're not smart. <laughs> the ape punches this one twice. I, I <laughs> presume I suddenly shimmer into visibility away. as well. You do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like these gory apes just, <laughs> just <laughs> throwing punches at these ghosts. Oh, okay. Now Elimus can make an attack if you would like. It, it probably won't hit this anyway. You never I want to see you try. Not like to watch you fail. Oh, um, Why is that it would be rolling? just a regular quarter staff attack. So oh, it's a magical quarter staff, isn't it? So, but why is it, it not? Is. I thought that would uh, actually roll it, but it's not rolling. Oh, there we go. I rolled. I'll do it with that. Uh, Fifteen, hey. so seventeen to hit. <laughs> yeah, you hit. Uh, 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 uh. It's one-handed. It's... Wait, how do you get? A pl- you don't have a no, plus no, plus I know, strength. I, I know I don't, but that's what the staff is saying. But it is that is four points of damage. Oh, use your one to cat. That's four Wait, points what? of damage. Oh, four points of damage. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. I was going to adjust that. Don't worry. Okay, I was like, <laughs> what, what are these shenanigans? It's Seventeen. Here? I don't know why it won't do it as an attack. I'm clicking on the every time I click on the attack, it posts the link of Staff of Frost. All right, Spectres wants this. You were back so bad. I'm gonna use my other inspiration against Gisvaldo. Uh oh. Oh boy. Fifteen to hit. That is not a hit. Suddenly things looking not so good. Guess who's next? Next again. Jazzy's back with back again. a. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, oh this is going to be Being AC 29, doing a total of numbers. 54. Amazing. How many? That was some quick math. That there. is a lot. I don't know How if I'm right. Is that right? 54. Is that right? 53? 34. 40. 19 plus 20 three. Oh, uh, so 50. Chat's gonna be so mad at us. Yeah, someone's good at math in chat. And I'm like, <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm like, I, I, I do numbers for work. Uh, it's yeah, 52 points of damage. Oh 52. my god, just well done. 20. 52. Right in the misty bits. You were close. He puts away the sword. So I think we have a your. Clutch me up, just well done. Thank do you. we do we want the your? Uh, I think this might be a, a good opportunity to let Elimus maybe figure out what the fuck this thing is. <laughs> what about apes? The weird bear skull apes, or not bear, <laughs> but like as in <laughs> the skin on their skulls, They're start moving around the ice, the ice sculpture that um, formed around the wraith, and just start <laughs> crunching and eating the ice. Horrible <laughs> demon. That apes with bear skulls. Um, I, I'll go to Acantha. Um, but you say bear skulls. 
<laughs> um, I'll, I'll pat her on the back and just say, it happens to a lot of spells here. Don't worry, it's not you, it's the place. I summon an undead horse here. Like, it, it's normal, don't worry about it. You'll be uh, mute. you're muted. Okay, now, better? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I, I, I didn't do that. You yeah, did amazingly. It was wonderful. Well, we all survived, and now we have this, whatever this is. Alanis. I will check it. What are we using for? Who is typing because it is driving me insane? Not it. <laughs> Someone's got a someone's it got a clicky keyboard over there. It might yeah, have I been Elena. Who's Fireball. got the red cherry? Who's not got the mine. red cherry switches over there? Fireball, Elena's oh. husband. That guy. <laughs> oh yeah, behind the screen. All right. Uh -oh. Um. So those, by the way, those apes are still there. You can concentrate on this spell for up to an hour. Wow. I'm gonna have them follow me. So if we if we oh, leave, God. I'm gonna have them. <laughs> Gorilla train. Booga booga. <laughs> so right, you do yeah. have a your. You're correct. Is it? Yay! I start casting identify on it and spend some time with it. Well, while he's doing that, may I open this door here? You may. Mm. And you will oh, reveal. I follow him. Sort of cracked landing. That you see. Now, I am no master of masonry, but that looks very dangerous. I would not recommend stepping out there. Isn't that the area that the barbarian said that was where everybody was dying? That they weren't coming back when they got in that room? Not necessarily. Well, yeah, that room. Not necessarily that spot, though. We don't know where the effect takes place. Um, little gnome girl. I have a very important vision for one of your apes. Okay. What do you, what do you need them to do? I can tell them. Expendo. Like I would like them to go out of this room. Okay. And there is a door across the other way there. I would like them to open that door. Turn into a bird and fly over there, but that's cool too. Mr. Ape, can you walk over there and open that door? Uh, do you send just one of them to do that mm -hmm. or just one? The okay. other three are my friends. He kind of what did he do to piss you on off? Over? <laughs> yeah, he's he's the ugliest one. I send the most broken, messed up, <laughs> less poor dude, scary. poor hideous oh, dude. It's based on looks. <laughs> It's his personality too. He wears it on his face. Oh yeah, no, okay. His bare face. His yeah. bare face. Good night, everybody. I'm out. I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> you see him walk through the door, and then he just kind of disappears. You see him walk around the corner here, like turn, take a left through the door, um, and he just didn't ask him to go through the door. He does though. Yeah, and he just walks around the corner. Can, can you can you come back? Can you come back and tell us what you see? Is there stuff over there? Mr. Okay, no response. Are you dead? We didn't Her? hear anything, did we? No. Um. You just saw him like open the door and kind of look, and then just walk in and around the corner. So and it didn't make anything a... explode or fall or anything like that. Barbarian it just wasn't. Death portal? Is it... <sighs> that well, was either... spectacularly useless. <laughs> you either kill them or... Are you going to go through the door now to go get my ape? Yes, I am. In just a <laughs> moment. Everyone sort of stands around, look, watching a Linus. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, so what was that you said about a, a barbarian death portal or something? Well, the reason why we are not going down the the large stairs in the main room is they said that everyone who went down there was destroyed and never came back. Just 
Like, destroyed how? They never came know. back. It, never it came doesn't back. matter how. You're they, really quiet, Ryan. They, He's just so scared of this <laughs> portal. Which was why I thought maybe sending out an ape would help us to know what the threat was, but... Uh, we could try from the other side. They, they never said that they came this way. They never went past the flame skulls. But if we sent one down the stairs, we might gain more information. Sorry, Akantha, but, you know. Well, we could have one go out right here and just jump off. I mean, they kind of creep me out, too. I don't really want them here for long unless we have any more fights because I don't want to have to fight, but... Would you mind having them go out and, like, attack that big statue thing? How how I far mean, is the drop? They get to be that far. I mean, it I mean is... it's stone, but... I guess I could have them attack the stone. Do we really need them to have them to... Well, okay. I don't know. It is up to you. I, I don't could want we... you to do what, anything you don't want to do. If it's all right with you, Akantha, we could send one, have them drop down to the first floor via this doorway. We could also send one back around and take the stairs down. Um, yeah, I guess it'd be okay. Okay, you two do what they said. So two of them go back around, do you think? I think it's one, one on to each. go down the stairs. One yeah. down the stairs and one just jumping off into the area from this upper area that we're at. Okay. Yeah. Doing like a pincer move. Yeah. Same time or? Yeah. So we're left with one. Mm -hmm. Imagine the one not. Jumping so one kind of waits here, looks back first. for your orders. One stays by you. One kind of goes back, is starting to walk this way. Did you want it to be in? Um, Synchronous or? No, I do one at a time. One at a time. One goes over here, sort of waiting. Give the order. Mm -hmm. To which one? The jumper uh, or the stair guy? Uh, yeah, let's go to the statue. That one first. Okay. Go and drop him down. Ooh, he will ooh, jump ooh. off and you want him to attack the statue? Uh, maybe don't, don't, don't attack it. Just go touch it and see what happens. Okay. Go poke it. Go poke it. <laughs> he walks. He starts to walk over. All of a sudden, um, you hear a couple um, syllables spoken and somewhere from somewhere within this globe of darkness in the statue, you see what seems to be a... Um, Firebolt. Globe of globe of darkness. Explain that. I missed that the first time. Yes. It's, it's, so it's there's this it. forty foot statue, and the the head is just this giant globe of darkness. Wait. Peter, can I see that statue? Like, are those yeah. doors open? Yeah. Now you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holy crap! It's a statue that made me eat a frog. And as he <laughs> walks up to this, you see a <laughs> bolt of fire emerge from the darkness and incinerates the ape. I missed it because I was looking at Cyborg How... in amazement at what he just said. <laughs> How far away was the the ape when it got to when it got hit? Um it seemed when it came around the corner to the front of it here. Okay, interesting. That's the that's the statue that made me eat a frog. I had a I had a vision uh... when I well, no, no, we we all had the visions, but that, that that's an interesting one. Wow. Yeah. Did Strahd eat frogs? We didn't read about that, did we? No, no, we did not. Is there a special? I mean, type I wouldn't of... know. I didn't read it. Is there a special type of Barovian cursed frog? Frankly, that sounds thing? like something Sauri would do, but I don't think he's been. Have here. we heard of any frogs or eating of frogs in the time <laughs> in Barovia? <laughs> Yeah, I think you'd remember. No, I think yeah. I would remember too. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, have the other one go down the stairs, and I'll I'll watch its progress. Um, at least as far as I can tell. I know I can't see the entire room. Okay, well, you you go 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 down the stairs and do the thing. Try to die. This one sort of makes its way down the stairs, gets to about here. 
and you hear a, a similar like and um, you see another bolt emanate and could we get um, marks on the floor for where they were <laughs> sure when they got so incinerated when you say incinerated is this one spell one kill seems or to be this... so like you're not even I mean meta here you're not even rolling damage they come out I'm, and just die damage. you're rolling damage okay mm -hmm. alright but it's just so high that it kills them well, the they are have, only the apes point, have 19 hit CR, points, just so you know. Uh, one half. Their CR halves, yeah. I decided they were like monster, massive things. Okay. So All right. Seems, I'm not going out there. Well, it seems like if we don't go on the main floor, we, we don't get hit. We could at least try the double doors. Or at least then. in front of the statue. There's something yeah. about this sort of conical line of sight here. What do you, so just as a reminder too, there are passageways here and here that lead on the lower level over in this way. You are in a two story sort of configuration. Right, here. right. Just, just so you remember that too. Yeah, we've already seen All right, well, what does, now. let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's resolve the, the spell. The year? The year. Okay. So it's the year of the year. It's the year of the um, frog. <laughs> who's whose year is it? <sighs> Save for it. Come on. Uh, you <laughs> learn that this vessel, when filled with water, <laughs> you can speak a command word, and it will turn the water to wine. Or there's actually not even water's required. It's just it will just fill with wine. This is just Waldo's like dream. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You mean you just say a word and it fills with wine? Over and over again? Yes, you have to speak the word Yura. Is it good wine? Taste it. Does it matter? Is that, does that literally all it does? Hmm? <laughs> Maybe this I do taste the wine. Did, did, we, did we say the word? Yeah, what is the word? <laughs> it's the word is... Pumpernickel. No. <laughs> Skyon. <Pumpkin> yes. Spice. <laughs> no. Uh, palanquin. Palanquin. <laughs> no, no, the word is moist. Oh, oh it's, it's Gorilla. It's, go no. it's gorilla. No, no I don't know. We'll, we'll have to. Orange I, I don't juice. Know. There is a um, oh, orange juice. Is there a handout for this? <laughs> it's not actually. Uh, what is the word you said? The 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 four the few uh, uh, the fooder. Oh, no, a the fooder. 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 That's perfect. <laughs> yes. The the word is fooder. <laughs> I'm not sure who to give this to you or to Maris. Maybe it's better in your hands. Um, and it can be used once. Uh, it, it can't be used until the next Please dawn. Once you use just it, just don't give it to me. But it, pro it produces a gallon of wine. Good so. lord! Definitely don't Jesus. give it to me. Jesus God, why? <laughs> why not? I feel like I have enough trouble looking after. Is her. it only? It only makes wine. Mm -hmm. What so vintage? <laughs> we've got that. Is it a? Is it a white or a red? Is that? Red. red, of course. Bro Gotta be red. Come on. red. Blood red. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Jeswaldo, we're sort of figuring out a way to put this on his back. He's not walking around with. Isn't it full? The you are a footer. <laughs> footer. Footer you were. Yeah. Footer you were. Footer you were kidding. So um, I have a question. Yeah. How much does an ape weigh? Um, it's not a giant ape, so probably like about the size of a full-grown adult male. Probably. Sorry, sorry, is Victor with us? He is. Why? Wait, oh, I thought Victor stayed behind. Is with oh, him. Victor yeah. stayed behind. Your, is with your him. voice broke a little bit there. It sounded like Victor. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't need to be babysitting I just, him right now. <laughs> I, I am because because of the graphics on this map. 
I am very distrustful, meta speaking, of. Oh, I am too. Well, it's literally collapsing. Like the description would do it too. It looks like this landing is crumbling before you. So yeah. So we were lucky that it held the gorilla, the gorilla, enough for it to walk. Does it look like maybe like sticking very close to the wall will have a better success? No, uh, no, because cracks extend all the way to the door here, all the way here. So, I have a question. I'm so. Sorry. Um, I oh, uh, Cyber, please. First. Uh, what, what, what was the drop? I thought we were uh... thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Okay. Well, it's either here or we go around. But that floor was also cracked. Yes. Or we go. Or we go um, down. I, a quick question for you, DM. Um, how long is the dining room table? Because I believe that was real. <gasps> oh. That is some next level thinking. Could we turn the table over <laughs> and bridge it? Yeah, pro bridge. probably. That's amazing. Oh, how the turn tables. Yeah. <laughs> That's a it, really good thinking. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> I would I would like to give that a try, if everyone's up for it. Okay, absolutely. absolutely. That's amazing. The door you is are still a open. Genius. Yeah. In fact, I, though we are um, we are not lacking it. Thank you to our generous viewers. But I award you inspiration for that uh, knack of. What manner of inspiration? Because I do still have Just that D twenty. Oh, sorry, you can't get it then. Damn it! Um, <laughs> but I would have had you not already been so inspired. Can she gift that to someone else? Can, can, can I gift? Can I gift the other one to someone else? Go for it. Okay. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Who hasn't had one yet today? Me. Oh, oh, poor me. I just have a really powerful. I keep rolling. Seven. <laughs> um, I I would like to award oh. it to uh to Cyborg for his intrepid map map skills because oh, I was uh, actually deeply impressed by that well both in character and out of character. I remember. Um. That. <laughs> Hooray! All right, so um, I think so you I will... can lay this table out here. Yeah. So I get inspiration for the table, and he gets my old inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Dope! Inspiration for that's everybody! Amazing. Now we get to find out what happened to this bear ape. Poor. I love it. <laughs> Look at that table. Oh no! So oh no! That is a magnificent uh, Okay, table. before we go that's... across there, we've all got to now roll another d20 for more inspiration. <laughs> Thank you very Snake much, spinner. Snake, Snake Spinner. Oh. If you've got it already, you can't oh, roll. Yeah, all right. So I think it's only all me right. rolling, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> Still oh lose. my god. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Amazing. You poor <laughs> bastard. <laughs> the best game ever. Oh my god. Hang on a minute. Haven't, haven't you got it already, Teresa? No, I lost it to the DM on the oh, last one. So say, because if you if you'd already had it, I would have won that on a three. Mm. Like, but, which would have been the best night. But well sorry. done, Teresa. You've got D twenty inspiration. Thank you very much, Snake. And uh, now oh, I'm well gonna done. give it to Alimus because I feel bad. No, this is the no, one time I will no, be nice. No, yes. Trust me. Yes. Take the die, Alimus. Yeah, sympathy. That's what you get for having cool spell effect on your audio. Oh. Yeah. No, I get inspiration for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. All right. So just... the table is extended. There is a room in darkness beyond. Just Waldo, do you, would you like to scout ahead a little bit and I we'll would... follow close behind? I would love to scout ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll follow close behind the, the close behind the. Third. I will stealthily cross the table. Okay. Make that stealth check. That would be a 28. Beautiful. If you weren't walking across an obvious table, he would literally disappear. But um, you cannot hear him walk across the table, that's for sure. Um, so I... heading across. You know that this is a sturdy wooden table, but you probably all wouldn't want to be on it at the same time. Um, does Waldo, do you cross over all the I way do. to reveal the room? Okay. I do. 
So you look into what seems to be kind of like maybe a shrine. Um, there's a, a foyer to the east and a shrine to the west. Um, is the foyer diaphanous? It is. <laughs> candlesticks draped in cobwebs stand in the four corners of the foyer. In the shrine, a faceless obsidian statue stands in a raised alcove at the western end of the chamber. Slumped before the statues are two desiccated corpses in tattered garments. There is also an ape standing next to the statue, just <laughs> staring at it. Two pairs of alcoves line the north and south <laughs> walls of the shrine. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. May I do it at advantage since I was about to say I don't look at the statue since the ape is obviously looking at it? The, it is um, not necessarily a um, avert your eyes type of situation, so. All right, here we go. I have rolled a 12. I'm gotcha. going to use my D6 inspiration. Ooh. So that is now an 18. Something about this statue is tapping. It's just wow, you can hear it. Really it's interesting. I want to look at it closer. I want to get closer to it. I really no, no. Has I don't want to do that. I, I has it want. got a keyboard? And you shake it off. <laughs> Claire, can you mute your microphone? Typey, 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 typey. <laughs> I was trying. I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> It's all good. So, uh, Jaswaldo puts his hand on the uh, the door frame and shakes his head for a second. He says, "There is a thing in here that's. It tries to get in your mind." Uh, and you passed it. I mean, if I if I could throw it off, I imagine <laughs> anyone else could. So I guess it's safe. Um, I don't necessarily trust my abilities in that regard, but. Uh, hmm. <laughs> So I step into the room. Okay. Does it the effect change? No. I take off my cloak and God, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go try and break it, I think. Okay. I tried to read him, folks. I tried. I didn't get anything from that. All right. I'm going to walk backwards towards the statue. Jaswaldo, what are you doing? Just give me a second. And I'm going to try and knock it over. Okay. You um, go over and you see it's easy enough to do it. It is a probably um, just a couple feet tall and the, the, all, the pedestal it's on is a bit higher. It's not attached to the altar that it's on and it tumbles over. Cracks on the ground and you see the ape go and just runs back into the other room. Um, well, <sighs> at that crash, I'm definitely going to um, yeah. kind of push my way through and I'd like to try to acrobatically go quickly across the ladder. Yeah, so did Jaswaldo tell us to not come into the room? Let's... He did, but go ahead and make an athletic or an acrobatics check since you are running. He, he told me that so and described. then he made a noise. Uh, acrobatics check. Really glad that worked out. Yeah. You run across the table, lightning speed. You're like, there's a there seems to be a statue which has been knocked off its pedestal. There are um there's a bit of what seems to be bone dust sort of knocked into the air. Um you can tell where the statue recently landed. And just while those vandalism is readily apparent, and you it was this nothing thing. else of interest. It was this thing that I saw it that uh, captured the ape, and it tried to capture me as well. Like, 
these creatures here. I will gingerly Where's move across the table since I am not known okay, okay, for okay. my athletics. I would like to inspect the desiccated corpse. Zzz. Okay. Zzz. Uh, Cyborg, what? I was asking uh, Claire if we should go, and then she went, I'm oh, going to go. And I'm like, got it. Oh, okay, we're going. Um, we're going. We're go going. ahead and <laughs> make an inspection check. 13. Um, they were wearing robes. Um, you can see the um, bits of hair still wispy and brittle off of one and a long beard as well. Um, robes and um, you can see the what seem to be the decayed remains of component pouches hanging from them. All right, I think I sort of stick my head out the door looking in and I motion everyone to come along. Are the pouches like, I know you said they're decayed, but are they like substantial enough still that there might be something in there or are they just like just falling apart? Um, they're pretty much worthless at this point. Though it does indicate that they were spellcasters of some sort. I uh, get to the door and just look at the, the globe of darkness on the uh, statue's head. Can I see anything? I'm just going to study it for a bit just to see if something comes out of it, like slips up or... Okay. Make a perception check. A perception check. Jack. Casimir will go across. 20. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 22. You hear something um, mutter. What languages do you speak? I speak common, draconic, and elvish. You cannot understand it. It sounds like something mumbles, maybe, inside the uh, the head of the statue or the globe of darkness rather is it something that i can hear because i haven't crossed yet um if you're over there uh you could make a perception check too to try and hear uh with advantage if alimus is saying getting your attention so yeah does somebody want to be super, super kind and tell me how I do that? On uh, do you have your character sheet up on D&D Beyond? I certainly do. Yeah, so you ha you should have your skill list there. And when you, mm -hmm. there should be a, like a, a number next to it. And when you, wait, do you have Beyond 20 installed? Yeah, Maybe she does, not. yeah. I do. Oh, okay, perfect. Is she rolling with advantage or? Yeah. yeah, so if you hold down shift and then you should be able to click the number that's like the plus whatever and it should roll the dice across the screen here on our um roll 20 screen okay Let's there you see. go it's a little goofy but uh with a 16 um harder to hear it for you you hear some mumbling though um it's hard to make any sort of syllables you hear a voice certainly hmm. what languages do you speak I speak Sylvan, Common. I thought I had another one. Proficiencies and languages. I speak Common, Druidic, Gnomish, and Sylvan. Okay. It's uh, not something. I study it for a bit. And know there's words being spoken, and then I uh, I speak the words. Uh, Lingua Comprehendent Omnium. And I hard cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. Interesting. You hear a voice saying, Oh, if they come back that way, I'll get them for sure. What language is it? I wonder what it's, what am I going to use? Hmm. So many options. He's switching between infernal and abyssal. Yeah, I speak those. Too bad I can't hear anything to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> right? So. Oh. Yes. I wonder what you'll use. DM, is there anything at all on the, and now I lost the word, the thing that the statue was on? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Plinth? Plinth? Shrine the, altar? The what? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. I don't know what you pedestal? can't see when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was there any like writing or markings or anything on that? Or it was just. Um, it seems to be just sheer marble. Um, nothing that you can see. Um, okay. The bodies don't have anything of value. They don't. Okay. Nothing. You would expect staves, you would expect focuses, spell books, but there are none of those things. Um, none of what you would typically expect to come along with a... Alimus um, hasn't said anything about the speech yet, correct? He's... I don't think he's crossed okay. the... Yeah, he's no, he has still yet. back. But you've heard him cast a spell, probably. You've heard him speak... Well, it depends where you were. I'm in the other room, and my perception is shite, so actually, I might not have. <laughs> okay. Hmm. DM, perception on the double doors into that room. Am I hearing anything beyond? Uh, Sure, go ahead and roll it. While well, he's doing that, uh, Jeswaldo will poke his head out the door and look over across the bridge. And... Alimus, are you coming? That's a creature there. Infernal and abyssal, it speaks. Well, I can't do anything about it, can you? Wait, 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 wait. It spoke Infernal? It speaks Infernal. It switches between Infernal and Abyssal. It's oh. We've got another door in here. Can I use Divine Sense from right here at the edge of the room? Can sure, go ahead and post out? that again, just so I know the conditions. Sure thing. Perception roll was a dirty 20. Nice. You do not sense anything. Fascinating. I don't, hear, I don't hear anything coming from beyond these double doors. Did dirty 20? Um, sorry. So you, and then you hear silence. You're fairly sure it's silence beyond the doors. Claire senses nothing from her divine sense. Oh. And um, Cyvor does not hear anything so behind the doors. So I see her focus on this and with no response. I try to think, what could it be? I rack my knowledges, my mind, try to think of what creature okay. could this be that speaks Just, Infernal. And do abyssal. you also know the details of her well, I've seen divine her, sense? I've seen her cast yeah. it. Um, so just know that if, if he's beyond behind direct cover, so if she doesn't have line of sight to it, it wouldn't ping on her senses. Oh. It's entirely possible that it's... I mean, I'm behind it, so... Oh, it's been hidden by the darkness. By the darkness. It yeah. could also or just be like somebody who speaks Infernal <laughs> yeah. Abyssal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Limus has had enough of this. Come along, Limus. We can deal with that later. I can turn into a snake and go see what it is. Hmm. I think we should stay out of its way for now. How yeah, about you I, I, come along this way? And have it ambush us. Should I open these doors? I, I don't hear anything beyond. I'll walk across. Let's wait until everyone's in the room. Of course, of course. Sorry. Wait, 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 wait. It's all right, Cyborg. The apes follow you if you command them to. Yes, definitely. Uh, do you open the doors? I look to everybody, sort of like nodding my head, and then, and then, open the door. You see another little archer's post here. There's a sort of a murder hole here, and that is all. Well, there's got to be a secret door. There's been one everywhere else. Maybe. Let me check. I will go and all investigate. Right. Does anyone else can give me advantage? I will. Are you proficient? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 18. This is just enough to show you that there are um, indentations in the wall in this alcove here. There seems to be oh. a hidden passageway here. Not in this room, but behind us. How did you do that? You weren't even looking at that wall. I could sense it. The wind, the draft coming from behind me. That's very impressive. <laughs> Same. I wish I could do that. I can train you one day when you're a big boy. <laughs> you're like probably like 10 years older. You than know, I'm like us. three times older than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I'll, uh, um, all right, let's check it out. All right. Uh, where is Cyborg, you did so well with the, the... I'm not so good with the hearing. Are you good with the hearing? Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've got great ears. What are, what, are we, what are we listening for? Well, apparently there's a secret Anything. door here. You want to see if you can find it? <laughs> with your ears, please. Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. All right. A little bit of cross game joking there. <laughs> All right. So perception check for that. Okay. Listening through. Listening. Go ahead and roll it. Sweet sounds of listening. And 11, which is not great. Yeah. It sounds to you, you're surprised there's even a door here. It sounds sort of like solid on the other side. But yeah. Eh, what do you do? You know? What do you... Well, I'm not, I'm not picking anything up. Does this look any? Does it look similar to the other secret doors that we found? Uh, kind of, yeah. So I just well, it just goes up and slowly pushes on the wall. It it doesn't quite push, but as as you sort of start to dislodge it, the door flings open in your direction, and you you are suddenly caught in a cascade of skulls, hundreds of them. Tumble out around your feet and everywhere in this room. Oh my god. Are these flaming skulls? No. Inanimate. Just clunking around. I, I try to rush forward. Think, and pull them think out of uh, the Halls of the Dead. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, the yeah, totally. That is was it, exactly the image I just are they, does it Does it appear like there's an ending to this, or is it just yeah, like a never ending? You think for a moment, oh, oh God, no. we're going to die and suffocate in skulls, and then it seems to stop as the cascade um, seems to reach its end. Yeah, I'm going to have Frost my maiden. eight pick me up. Bone avalanche. <laughs> What's that, Akanta? I'm going to have my ape pick me up, and I'm going to sit on his shoulder to Okay, up. yeah, you're riding on an ape now. <laughs> Careful not to touch the weird, de like decaying oh, face. God, it's yeah, just... don't touch his face. The eye, the the um, eye sockets make good handholds to hold on to it, so it uh, works. No. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no eyes in there and it's not going to hurt the ape, uh, Barovia. Yeah. He doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have a mind. He You're like, this one might have found a brain at some point when he was scavenging. There's something like all the way in there. Eh, never mind. And you just hang on and ride it around. So. so is this what, what is this this is just where they kept all their heads this is well, what is going that, on that's not um uncommon um what the burial of heads in crypts like this in a closet in a back room it's not a closet is it is there anything beyond the it's skull, a, skull, it's a skull little land. hard to see because there's still a lot. If you dug through more skulls, you could probably get a better vantage point of what might be in this room. Let's start using right. the staff and getting them out of the way and try to check and have a look. <laughs> yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll help Alimus move some help skulls. Waldo steps skull away first, from the skull, skulls. <laughs> skull duggery. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Skull, is skull, ever... dig, skull diggery. Who uh, is, there it is. Who is helping move the skulls out from this room? Uh, Cyborg will help. One, two, three. I will. I will help. Like I'm remove them. Like as they get them yeah. out of the room, I will yeah. make space for more skulls. It yeah, sounds like I'm everyone. Like... Anyone abstaining? I'm like moving things. <laughs> Besides Sorry. Casimir, <laughs> who's Lazy. standing and watching. Rude. All right. Sounds like you're all doing it. Cool. It's up. In that oh, case, oh god, oh god, in no. that case, no. you are able to clear away the skulls really quickly because everyone is working together. Okay, <laughs> give me a heart attack. <laughs> and I was like, Shit. bastard. Oh. <laughs> you move in and you see that this room is actually has a very high ceiling, and way up on top, attached to the ceiling, appears to be a chest. Attached to the top. Mm -hmm. How high up? Thirty high feet. Up. 30 feet? <laughs> uh, are there any, like, footholds is... or rough parts of the walls going up? It is sheer marble. And the room is 10 feet wide? 10 feet wide. Hmm. Kind of, just while it kind of looks at Akanta with a, with a appraising look. You want me to say something? Do I get 
Can you stop throwing it to him? What is what is your jump? What's a, what's a jump distance? No one's jumping thirty feet. <laughs> Monks I mean, I can try, but what is what is what is jump distance? Unless you have a Monks long, go. unless you have a wall run feature as a monk, which is I suppose possible. But you would have to tell me that in your features and traits. So I've got I've got step of the wind, which as a bonus action, my jump distance is doubled for a turn, and I can take the disengage or dash as a bonus action. I but think you can high jump equal to your strength with a, modifier. With, with, a ten, with a 10 feet run, you can jump a uh, number of feet equal to three plus your strength modifier. But this is just straight up. This is okay. a high jump yeah. check. So, Which is then would be half. Okay, so. Yeah. But the first time I ever met a druid, he turned into a spider. No, I don't like spiders. I'm not turning into a spider. I could turn into a cat, a bat, a rat. I could turn into a snake. I could turn into well, a buffalo. What but about a salamander? Ooh, are those those creepy little red things that are really, really slimy? Yeah, I've seen those before. I could turn into that. That would be great. Wait, so Oof. you don't like spiders, but you like slimy? She's already a salamander. So. <laughs> yeah, she, that's already happened. Just trying to figure, just trying to figure her out. That's all. I mean, a spider would probably have had a better chance of getting the chest open once she got up there, but look at her go. Yeah. You climb up and you find climb a up. chest. I mean, we didn't think the snake was going to be able to... That's true. Things. That's yeah. true. But seems the snake pretty, didn't open the chest either. It seems pretty secured. There's a um, like a keyhole for a key. Oh. I trust that she can do this job. She's proven her right. worth so far. I'm going to... Scoot down to the keyhole and use my tiny little salamander hands and attempt to like get in there. Okay. Uh, without thieves' tools, there's really no way to pick the lock. You kind of like you feel around here, like I can't get that far in there. I don't know what's going on with his lock. Um, Can I fit the lock? No, you are too large. Casimir, do you uh, happen to have another fly on you today? Excuse me. A what? Fly. Oh, yes. I, this would be my last, but who would you like me to elevate? Jeswaldo has the opening thing. And he just reaches me. over and touches Jeswaldo, casts fly. I'm flying. 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 Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this is amazing. I give him a little pat. And Jaswaldo mm-hmm. flies up next to Akanta. Hello. Okay. I'm amazing. going to teach you how to use a lockpick. You take the big one and you put it here. And you take the little one and you put it here. Now, turn that. Ten- tensor rod. Yes. <laughs> turn it. Are you Come on, there? you can do it. Turn it. All right, make that thieves' tools check. Can I help him since I'm technically there? I don't think you have the proficiency to help. You have to have proficiency in the um, skill or item. Too. 17. 17? Oh, it's a difficult one. Oof. It does not mm. open. It doesn't open it? With 17? No. How long do I have to wait before I can try again? Or is this a situation where I can just keep trying and trying until it opens? No, you would have to wait. Um, I didn't know if it was a uh, you know if you foul by or... a certain number, then you your tool would break or something. No, nothing mm-hmm. like that. I mean, you didn't roll particularly high, but he you don't feel like you were close either. Can I give him inspiration to try again? No, it has to be before the. It has to be before the roll. Yeah. Well, could you turn into something smaller, maybe going through the keyhole? Maybe you can help me that way. I... Sit there and think about it for a second. Could I turn into this even tinier? I'm not turning into a spider, that's disgusting. She's thinking this. <laughs> I could tell. Turn into She's got that yeah. pensive look in her salamander face. Yay, salamanders. 
I can turn into a flea. Can I turn into a flea? Can I wild can I can I wild shape into a flea? Is that possible? There's a particular any kind of a tiny insect you could, and are you going to do it? Oh oh he- okay. the hell yeah! I'm turning into a flea. <laughs> she disappeared. You <laughs> turn into a tiny little insect, crawl into that lock, that mountainous terrain, and you reach an end where there's the keyhole doesn't go all the way through. You just reach the back. It seems like you can't get all the way in. Okay, so I'm going to crawl back out of the lock, but then I'm going to like use my little flea hands to see if I can get in <laughs> through the cracks like I do as a snake. So can I like flee my way in through a crevice? Um, it, a crevice? I hate to say it, it's this chest is sealed remarkably tight. It is a astoundingly good lock. It is somehow sticking from the ceiling. And just Waldo, despite rolling a 17, felt like he you have no further wisdom on how you might pick that lock. How it large is, is the chest? Sealed so tightly. Um, it is just probably, you know, um three feet by three feet at the barrel top. All right, Shall enough match. of this. I pull out my plus one rapier and I stab wait, it in. Wait, wait, wait. I'm still on the thing. No, I don't stab you. I, I you can stab jump it. onto his. Yeah, I'm going to like flee into it. I'm going to get okay. in his ear. I stab it into uh. one corner of the uh, chest and start trying to just. Okay. You do. And your magic weapon going, going back and forth, back and forth. You're doing all right up there. I'm having a great time. As far as you can tell, like it's it. impervious to your weapon damage. Truly. Bring it down. I'm trying. How is it attached uh, to the ceiling? Can I try and... Is it... What? All right, I'll try and cut it from the ceiling. Okay. Um, You find this, like, sort of goopy substance around the edges, and your rapier doesn't cut through that either. I'm gonna search the room for a key. I'm gonna is this dead like uh? We need some what is it? That stuff. Salad. They uh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly that's what, we, what need. we need. What is in this thing? Can I search the bodies and everywhere else for a key? Maybe ones inside one of the skulls. You can go ahead and make an investigation check for the the room to search around. Oh my god! If it's Sorry. in one of the skulls, Does Claire, help me. Is Claire, proficient in an investigation. Yeah. She can't help you then. Oh, you can't. Uh oh, I was gonna say I can't if oh, okay. I can't do looking for things. We know I'm, this. Oh, I thought, I'm that's proficient. That's why I thought you were helping. Um, I'm proficient. I was just moving I shit around. Last. That's only a six. I helped anyway. you last time. Are you? So do you have? Do you have inspiration? And you're still begging people for help. Is that what's happening? Well, it's only because uh, <laughs> you know I, I play jacks and I have advantage on investigation. So I only think it's fair yeah. that Alimus gets advantage. Because Jack's has sixteen. <clears throat> um, sorry, just quickly, how many wild shapes per day do you have, Chow? There's. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, other than waiting around for another. So wait, I guess there's no way for you to tell me that there was no. Was what you were describing to her that this is a fake lock, that this is just. There's no way to act. This is just a, a device on the out of side of this that looks like a lock. She went inside it. You just think this is really, really tough. This is a trap. Elimus, looking around, you find nothing of interest in the skulls. You think potentially, though, the um, partner to this secret door is right here. Ah. I'm gonna... While he's been checking, how long has he been checking? They've been probably up there for two minutes or so, oh, okay. looking around, messing with it. I, I don't know what is in this thing, but it is not coming down. I can't get into it with this amazing weapon. It. 
I'm, I'm stumped. If we have time, That's all right. I can detect what is this magical. Back. What is the chest made out of? I, I, it's not made out of wood or it's metal. Iron. Yeah. But it's made out of iron. I can't even scratch it. Look at this. I look to um, what's his, what's the guy's name? I can't remember. Casimir or Casimir, Cyborg? Casimir. So, do you have anything? Maybe the knock spell. Um, he looks at you and nods. Let's see, actually. Where did I have that? It's one of the spells I want to get, but I haven't had a chance of getting it. I always take knock. It's a good one. It's mm. never not useful. What is you knock? Will say, what is knock? I. Yeah. It's I a. Knock. It's a, oh, it opens doors that are locked. It, it's a counter to arcane lock. Hmm. Um, I do just, not possess this magic, though. Perhaps it is magically sealed some way. Hmm. Well, did you find anything else down there? Well, I look to Claire. I say we may need to rest soon. I am becoming spent. I point up towards the uh, <clears throat> the chest. I must speak uh, Magicia Lucia Zanusi Sinica and cast a spell magic. Okay. I get out of the way. <laughs> That's my last third level slot. You see the chest fall open. It appears to be an iron chest lined with thick lead sheeting on the inside. Nothing falls out of it. It appears to be entirely empty. And then suddenly, beneath you, the floor disappears. And I grab onto the uh, the lid of the, the um, chest. You're flying. You're flying. You're you know, flying. If, some, if they're about to fall and someone's so -and -so about to lose concentration, I am holding yeah. on to the edge of the chest. Gotcha. Um, We're not and... underneath it. I'm still a flea on his head. <laughs> when, yeah. You That's... fall one level lower. Like, Who's you? All of us? In Whoever's in room? the room. Do we have, in the small room? Did I have to be in the room? Yeah. I fucking look up. Uh, who is it? Well, who's, who is, I, I mean, well, if you were investigating this room, if you were casting Dispel Magic, it is also 30 feet up. So you would probably need to go into the room, look up, and cast a spell magic. Okay, so if... So since... Uh, uh, There's room for four of you. I don't know who is in there. I will just ask you guys to be honest. I was, I was, I was staying on the edge. I was definitely in the I room. Because I was asking. Uh, can I knew grab it was a, a trap. Can, can I grab you it? You did, you called it. Can I grab Elmas and do a slow fall? Um... I don't think you can do that as a monk with another player unless you are have an ability. You can obviously slow fall. You guys do see the ground approaching rapidly about 30 feet below you. It's not a bottomless pit, but you do fall. Okay. Bye guys. I guess I take damage. Okay, so so I can't so I can't try to I can't try to grapple him at all. Um you could but you would share the fall damage. You can either monk fall, or you can fall, take fall. damage in solidarity with the yeah. crew. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a spirit. part of this. Yeah. And those of you who fall, take five hundred damage. Oh, six damage oh. of the bludgeoning yes. variety. You guys okay? Six damage. Shout down the whole earth. Not so, shout, but almost. say down the hole. Well, I take it uh, Ryan didn't take any then, did he? Nope. No. I say I'm yeah, fine. No. So, a little bruised. Time check. We're getting close. I, I, I thought I could grab you. I'm sorry. It's fine. 
My mistake. You alright? I'm a fool. What's down there? Um. Debris, oh. weapons, mm -hmm. furniture. And there's a the you see the doors once of amber seem to be smashed and lying in front of here. You can see the bottom of the statue over here, and sort of the rest of the room um, beyond. Here are the stairs leading up to the the uh, balcony that you've seen before. Oh. Right, yeah. so in order for them to get out of that room, they would have to go back, they would have to go into the main room. Potentially. You also see the, you can see yeah. the yeah. corridors extending either direction. Um, All right, I fly down. Okay. And I grab a limus. All right. Going up. <laughs> uh, Going up. Uh, there's nothing else right. in here, though, yeah? Well, uh, yeah, I, it seems to be plundered. Okay. Whatever was here, scraps, little bits, nothing else. Right, so, a bit. Cyber's still intrigued and wants to try to poke around a little bit. Okay, you can make an investigation check. Is anyone else going up? What is the plan? If we're coming to the end, I'm, I'm waiting for a little a bit longer. Get, uh, line us up. Yeah. Okay. That'll happen pretty much instantly. It's only about 30 feet. He can fly up in about six seconds. 16 on the investigation check. Yeah. Um, see bits of smashed chests. Maybe the haft from a halberd. A broken shield. Just really nothing of worth. Just Wallow flies back down. Find oh. Cyborg. Did you land on something soft? Uh, yeah. Uh, kinda. I, I don't. I'm a, I fall real well, so. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe you'll do all right here anyway. Um, would you care to go up, or do you want to go out the door? Couldn't split the party, I think. Oops. All right, up it is. Up. That's so cool. We, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys bringing oh, everyone sorry. back up to the top? It sounds like yeah. yes. And Alimus will okay. look to Claire and say, "I think we need to rest." And he'll pull out a twisted loop of parchment, and uh, and if and nods, uh, uh, waits for her approval for to rest. How's everyone doing? Do you, do you need to rest just for a little bit, or do we need to hunker just down an hour. for a while? Okay, Maybe. we can absolutely take a break. Um, if everyone feels okay with that. Uh, I mean... The apes I, will wink out of existence. Alright. And I uh, I speak the words... Uh, well, so you get the, the twisted loop of parchment out and... Uh, and speaks the words... Aculte uh, frude funum. And a rope. A rope will just appear. And then he'll say... Everyone get in. And I'll climb the rope. And it will just disappear. No follow. Um, awesome. Everybody's awesome. I suppose we're all going to go up this rope to nowhere. Come along. I, my head sticks out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. There's a flea around here somewhere. Oh, oh bite his yeah. head. Ow. <laughs> As you guys are climbing, you think <laughs> you... <laughs> so you hear the, the slightest bit of a, a sound of a gruff voice on the other side of this room, now floorless, saying, Hello. Who's there? Fly back down. Sorry, from where? I'm, uh, from a down below or no, from, from the, the door? The from top the on the other side of the uh, hidden door. Okay. Akanta, are you with this? You with me on this? In little flea squeaks. Alright, just Waldo opens the door. Just Waldo, what the fuck are you doing? I just I have to And you yell at something me for super intelligent curiosity. Hello. And so you see a um, fifteen foot high room here that contains the trappings of royalty. Ornate furniture, exquisite rugs, tapestries and a decorative statuary. 
Everywhere you look are lit candelabras atop small tables. The beauty of the decor is undone a bit by thick dust and cobwebs. And standing in the center of the room is a decrepit skeleton in tattered robes. Red pinpoints of light burn in the skeleton's eyes sockets, or the, the eye sockets of the skeleton. Uh. Do I know you? Get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, of course you know me. My name is Jesualdo Tocarembo La Tomba del Fuego, Santa Malipa Zacatega, the Hotel de Santa Cruz de la Rosa. And we are very good friends. And what is my name? Well, I always just call you sir. No, tell me my name. Your name? Dave. Is Oscar. You motherfucker. <laughs> Oscar. I do not think that is my name. And he turns around and just sort of looks despondently at the corner of the room. Well, if I could help you find your name. Yes, help me remember. I will give you great power. Right. Let me go look for your name, and I will come back with an answer for you. Do not tarry. I will not tarry. Is it all right if I keep calling you Oscar for now? I'll just you call see, you sir. I'll just the, call um, you sir. The fire is in the eyes of this undead spellcaster, it seemed to, seemed to glow. And Ooh. fires um, appear in his hands a bit and then wink out. Uh, my name. You can see him repeatedly making these gestures and you see what appear to be perhaps balls of necrotic energy just um, zapping out from him like those stupid Fuck. little Spencer's <laughs> Gifts balls um, <laughs> impacting upon the walls <laughs> as if the immensity of his power is too much for him to contain in his own frustration. Yes, definitely, <laughs> sir. Uh, uh, and then um, he slumps a bit. Um, yes, uh, I will be back soon. Do I promise. not tarry. Uh, no, no, I won't do that. Definitely not. Grabbing. You then grabbing see on a pedestal in the room, or on a desk, is a beautiful looking book. Is it green? <laughs> it is a fine shade of forest green. Is it God. the book? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, well, maybe your name is in this room somewhere. I'm like, ha I'm trying to like hang out of w this rope trick shit that Alimus has done and like grab at Jeswaldo. <laughs> you have come seeking power, yes. Yes. Yes, I have. Help me. And I will show you. Right. Well, I suppose we could take a look around. Um, your name. I. How did. You must have been here for a very long time. I do not remember. Jiswaldo, get your skinny, roguish ass up here. I, I, uh, I just want to look at one thing, <laughs> and I'm going to go over and look at the title of the green book. Um, it is upside down, and as you, you, as he, his eyes unblinking follow you, looking 
in that direction. Do you do you mind if I do just... not touch it? Oh, right. No, I won't do that. Um, I was just wondering if maybe it had a clue as to what your name was. Do not touch that. Is there anything else in this room I cannot touch? I do not remember. But you remember that I cannot touch this book. Do not touch that book. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done here. Um, I will return with people who are much smarter than I am, um, who will no doubt be able to help you find your name, but um, I will want some sort of reward for that. I will be, be back, I promise. As you should. Oh, I will go out of the room and I will fly up into the into the rope trick space, just like okay. Are you, yeah, give it. <laughs> Are you okay? What the fuck just happened? There's As you thing. all heard, maybe a few voices echoing yeah. up, but um, not sure of the full situation. There was a thing, a really old, disgusting magic thing in there. Um, he can't remember his name. And it didn't kill and if we help him remember it, then he will give us amazing things. Can I drop down a little bit back out of the rope trick again and like- Oh, you all are curious. Divine yeah. sense. I just want a divine sense. Oh, he's definitely undead, door. Claire. No, he's, um, he's, if there's you no get way he's alive. To a point, <laughs> if you get to a point where you can see him in, in your the peripheral vision, definitely undead. Okay, I'll. I mean, I'll up. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert, but really, have we read anywhere about these powerful mages? Make an Arcana check uh, or a religion check. Uh, history or Arcana? Oof. Can I? I'm gonna attempt there? religion. Or can well, a system that has, has a better gonna... religion check? Well, hell, I will try your religion check. Why not? 16. I'm gonna wild shape my normal self. Well, well, it's not very it. religious. Oh man! No. I'm I I have faith, but I don't really know that too was much. A garbage religion roll at six. Ugh. <laughs> Just well done, did as well as Alimus. <laughs> <laughs> it was in that green book. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I just need sixteen. Uh, you know there are uh, different forms of undead who can possess arcane power. Seeing just the sheer amount of power that he unleashed as he was just speaking to Jiswaldo without casting spells, by the way. He made no incantations and you saw just this necrotic energy just um, sort of lashing out from him. This is another class of creature. It's like Age of Arcanum? Uh, Nether, Nether, Nether thing. No, not like, maybe not like de deity, but you just don't know. You yeah. just know it's not like... You know, flame skull plus. Do I think it's a lich or something? Could that's be. What just Waldo <laughs> Never seen one, but if you were, if you had seen one, you think that's probably maybe what that would look like. So, yeah, we probably are we of the right level. Did he? He had both of his eyes, lich? right? He did. So, so it's not that one. <laughs> if it's a lich, we do not want to fuck around. Both with that. of the eyes, flames going out of. Well, I, no, but. He promised he power if he could remember his a name. A lich? Well, he's not like he's hurting anyone. Except They're the inherently minute. evil. Except the minute that you tell him his name, he's going to remember his power, and then, of course, there'll be all hell broken loose. Like it, it, but listen, this is this is above my pay grade, and I also, I would not also, probably be able to do anything with the power that he is promising anyway. So that is your decision. I power. What was? What was the book that he had? Uh, he he said book, it maybe. was do not touch it. Is that what this <laughs> one was? Maybe we should just go. I mean, Akanta, what do you think? And take it. We cannot. If, if if it is a lich, there's no fucking way we can kill it. We are not that powerful. Well, okay. Another possibility. If we figure out his name, we make it promise to help us find the sword 
before we give him his name. I would love to be able to find the sword on our own and not enlist his help. That is a, is, is, in my book, that is a last fucking resort. I mean, someone that powerful might be able to destroy Strahd. But if he's undead, Strahd could easily just have control over him. Oh, I don't think so. He could. The Empire was very powerful. What did you say, Akantha? Sorry, you cut out for a... Yeah, my, my internet... Oh, it it's all good. It just uh, it, it sucks. <laughs> it's the for for whatever reason our Zoom compression doesn't seem to lo uh, love your voice either. I love it, but oh, <laughs> I was gonna say oh my voice no. No, yeah. I was just gonna say that you know maybe maybe he won't help us. Maybe maybe it's evil. Well, I it's again I am no expert, and um, Casimir will not say. I agree. Do you have any knowledge of his name? Of who he could be? No. There are many wizards who studied here for centuries. He obviously found a way to ascend. Or at least that's how he sees it. I do not disagree that he is evil, but we should become aware of his desires, his pursuits. I do not think he is a tool of mindless destruction. Whatever his aim is, let us find it and not thwart it. And perhaps we may travel the path of his power to our own success. Barring, of course, that being too harmful to any innocence or the realm in general. He looks to you, Claire. I do not mean to ally ourselves, simply not to cross this creature. Oh, I allow am very it, much in agreement with that. Allow it to... Well, we shall see. God, I was friggin' dead. <laughs> Thought I was done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, with that, in a rope trick, you guys all in a little demi-plane nestled up with maybe a lich Whoa. right around the corner we will awesome. leave it uh for this particular adventure in barovia yeah Woo.